we live? We live? We live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration. Wherein it feels like it's been a minute, so where are we up to? Oh yeah, I remember now. We are scorching Moss Garden. Uh, because we don't have, uh, we don't have any Vitamelange yet, even though we have energy beaming. Uh, I've been putting off Bioscience for perhaps, arguably, a little bit too long. Just maybe. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I may need to go to Moss Garden to clear out biters themselves. I don't know if they count uh, when we are trying to do a confirmed hostile extinction. Kyung, thank you very much for the three months Good with morning. Prime. Good morning to you as well. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thank you so much. Um... So let's see, we've got... Uh, I've done the first three steps of Bio 1, although we need Vitamelange to make any of this work. Uh, actually, they're all missing the prerequisite of biomass, but there's also Vitamelange spice. Scobix, Twist DP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, I also threw together, finally, a life support build in this place. Um, and what else do we have going on? We should be... Let, let's check on our ingots real quick. Production, ingot, uh, you know the three we're talking about, holmium, iridium, and beryl. Um, they're looking, I was going to say pretty decent, but now Iridium is, uh, Iridium's looking a bit strange. Barrel also went lower for a while. Um, I wonder where the bottlenecks are. Or, dare I ask... 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was going to say, dare I ask, are we saturated on Iridium? But I seriously doubted that one. Might be time to make a new build for Iridium, just like we did with Holmium. Did I actually place the new Holmium build? Uh, that's copper. I remember designing the new Holmium build, but I don't remember placing it. Uh, let's see. Search. Holmium. Let, let's just search for Holmium first. Holmonite, rather. And... Oh, I forgot. I accidentally searched for Entity. There's actually quite a decent amount on the ground um, on this planet. But no, I mean to search for it in storage. Okay, we definitely... We already have a decent uh, core fragment processing for it. Um, we've got some mines. And... And then... That's one of the old ones, old one, old one. Yeah, I don't think we actually built uh, the new Holmium. I think we designed it, right? Every time I see those cliffs off to the right, I try to read what they say. Cliffs off to the right? Where? What kind of script are they written in? M.N. Solren. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Middle right of the base. Do you mean like here? 
over here. First spot. Okay. Hmm. That's almost like a W. Or maybe... No, it's too far. Too far off. C-N-O? What? Oh, I see. Should we demol uh, demolish it? Before I get too sidetracked... Um, we did indeed design new Holmium. And I'm pretty sure we didn't build any of this yet. Pretty sure. So, where should we put it? Um... I would like the core fragment processing. Well, we've already got that, actually. I could move it. I would like it a bit closer to the space elevator at some point. Um, but I don't think the trains have to make trips that often. With these. No need to demo them just for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do beads first. And then we need crushed. Whoops. We need beads, crushed, holmium powder, holmium, uh, molten holmium. And holmium ingot. Was it crushed holmonite or holmium powder that had the low stack size? Or maybe it was Holmenite itself. Holmenite actually stacks to 20, right? But that's not that bad. Yeah, I don't think we really uh, terribly need to... Um, worry about putting these in a row. Do we? Oh, god damn it. I wish when I zoomed in like that and went back to Navsat, it would bring the Navsat with me. What's this looking for? Crushed? How much crushed does it want per second? Uh, just over a blue belt. And it stacks to 50. So like a stack per second, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about where we build this. Let's do... Um, let's do some Holmenite over here, I think. So we've already got the core fragments close by. Um, depending on how the trains path. Well, if I do it here, they'd have a really short trip. Let's just do it here. Get rid of the old power poles. And we'll do the crushed here. And beads can go here. And I'm pretty sure the rate we're going to be making beads... They stack to 200, right? Uh, it really doesn't matter too much where we put those either. Let's see. 126 per second, but they do stack to 200. Yeah, we can, we can put those almost anywhere. All right, so bead and bead. And then crushed pulmonite. May have put that a pixel higher than I wanted. It's probably fine. And then after crushed comes powder. I could put it here, actually. 
Bachibon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is fine for now. That should probably be a chain signal. And then get rid of the old power poles. Probably should have done that first. Uh, we need holmium, molten holmium. Once again, these should now be chain signals. And after molten holmium, right next door, so we can skip the trains, let's put holmium ingots. Actually, let me just double check what else goes into holmium ingots. Out of curiosity. Um, that's the old build. We don't want that. Oh, it's literally just sand plus molten. Cool, cool, cool. So I think we'll put it right next door and pipe it over directly. Right after I get rid of the old power poles. And we're going to need an awful lot of stuff from the construction train. Um, I'm just going to have it drop off what it can. And then we'll see what's missing. And then same thing down here. And it'll probably actually reach everything from there. Now, well, maybe a little closer down below would be good. Um, to the surprise of no one... Oh, right. Advanced chemical plants. I forgot. I forgot. Alright, so we're going to do a little spaghetti build for bioscience. Um, it's going to entail... Well, whatever the bare minimum is to get bioscience going. Let's grab ourselves a research facility or two. Bio two day? I hope so. Uh, bio one. Bio catalog one. And we need Vitamolange Extract just for Bio 1. Feels like that used to be for a higher tier. Or, like, it wouldn't appear until a higher tier. Um, we could probably borrow some Thermofluid from here. What have we got? 25 degree, negative 100. Actually, I think we got rid of all this. So we'll have a train bring it, perhaps. Um, we need biocombustion, biomechanical, and biochemical, which I've already set up in the rail network. Um, so maybe I'll just borrow that, just to get a small amount done. For genetic data, we need a genetics facility. For a genetics facility, we need... Uh, what is it called? Let's go back. No, not like that. Uh, we need nutrient vats. For nutrient vats, we need bioscience. Uh, we need a biochemical facility and nutrient gel. Nutrient that. Now we need nutrient gel. Uh, now we need fertilizer. Bloody hell. Uh, 
The whole bloody Vitamelange planet's going to be cleared before we make progress on this. Biomatter and nitric acid. Oh look, that's also something that I would like to build uh, with advanced chemical plants. Um, but I think... Are we still building this? Yeah, we are. Philip B. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it looks like we're getting back to the point where we get a little bit of a lurch when rail signals are placed. I guess I could take the kid gloves off for my CPU a little bit. And then Factorio go faster. That might help a little bit. All right. Uh, so what was this made in? Nutrient gel in biochemical facility. Fertilizer, chemical gel, biosludge, cosmic water, bloody hell. And the bots are going to steal this stuff. Fantastic. Do we have another biochemical? I mean, I'm sure we do. But where is it? Here we go. Oh, the lurches. Oh, no. Where are the... Oh, it's gone back home, and the bots have to fly back to it. And, of course, they're going to go back in here once it's actually filled up with stuff. Um, could we maybe not? Actually, w wait there indefinitely. Passenger... No, 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 stop, stop, stop. God damn it. Uh, wait here until passenger present. That'll do. Okay, so this is going to make nutrient gel. There's two, two recipes. One involves methane, which I'm never going to mine directly, but I think I saw a recipe or two that output it, if only as a side product. Uh, yeah, when we make Vitamelange bloom, we have to output methane. And what does it go into? Uh, processed fuel... Uh, crude oil, I guess. Methane ice, don't want to do that. Uh, nutrient gel is winning so far. It's going to be our number one sink for it. Oh, we need it for lattice pressure vessel, or do we? We do. That might end up being annoying. What does it go into? Matter anti... Matter plant... Planetary teleporter. Holy crap. That sounds good. Rod 9. 500 of these? Okay, it goes into some really high-end stuff. Um, including antimatter thrusters. And there's only one way to make it, so we're definitely going to have to be making methane. Um... I guess worst case, we can be basically wasting vulcanite and vitamelange in order to make methane. That's kind of gross. I really don't want to have to depend on a finite source of, like, methane ice. Okay. Um, in any case... I think we'll use the first recipe for nutrient gel. 
There's only two recipes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So we've got way too many inputs for this. Uh, do we already have... I think we do. Bio sludge. The, the, we, we've got quite a lot of bio sludge already. Um, so no worries there. Where's this? Oh, I see. Did you really need to tell me that it's in individual pipes as well? Whatever. Uh, so we got plenty of bio sludge in the rail network, and we know we have the other two in the rail network. I'll have to make drop-offs for it. This is getting annoying. I could barrel it. It depends just how many things we need. Five nutrient vats, 15 nutrient gel. That's four, 20, 25. Whatever, let's just automate it, even if it's going to be temporary. So we need... Uh, that's kind of loud. Coal, fertilizer, three fluids, iron, and glass. And the fertilizer I was going to make on the ground, just real quick. Unless there's some reason to bring up biomatter or nitric acid. We already brought up nitric acid. Can we find an excuse to bring up biomatter? Directly by train? Also, now that I think of it, I haven't checked, because we, we didn't really have any need for it at scale. We can't prod this, but there's really no need. Well, I guess it does take petroleum. Petroleum's kind of infinite, though, on this planet. Um, yeah, we can't prod it, but we can speed it. Anyway, we've got train loads and train loads and train loads of biomass um, already. What's this? Oh, because it's requesting petroleum gas. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Biomass, what does it go into? Biter research data, I believe we do that on the ground, yes. Uh, fertilizer, first aid kit, not gonna bother with that. Biolab, uh, that's what these are. Med pack, bio sludge. That is probably the way to go if we ever need to make bio sludge directly, and that can only happen in space. So that alone might be a good uh, excuse to bring the biomatter up, even if we don't end up doing it. That's the that's our only excuse, though. How many ways do we make bio sludge? I remember ending up with way too much of it last time, without really trying, even if it started slowly. We can also just make it out of wood. Uh, 50 wood instead of 10 biomatter? Which is... 100 petroleum? Yeah, that's, um... That's, that's definitely a better deal. Although I would have to take wood up the space elevator. But still... But they both have to be done in the space elevator. This one just might cost fewer space elevator cables. We got a tenth of a stack of biomatter, plus 20 cosmic water. 
That save is getting a little slow. I'm looking forward to being able to do some trims. Uh, so one tenth of a stack of solid plus 20 cosmic versus half a stack of solid plus 20 cosmic. This is definitely a lot more space elevator cable cheap. Um, but this obviously doesn't cost petroleum. LPP Arif, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, alternatively, if we farm raw fish, that's way better stack efficiency than either of them. But how do we farm raw fish? Uh, it has to be done in space, actually. Bioculture nutrient gel. Oh boy. All the bio stuff is an absolute nightmare. Just a overly complex, incestuous web. It's hard to even separate anything into modules. Toby, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that one doesn't really count. Neither do these. Huh? What is... Oh, this is to make advanced neural gel, right. Fair enough. Vitamolange Nugget, Vitalic Acid, Cosmic. Anyway, I'm really getting sidetracked here, which is easy to do with um, bio recipes. Fertilizer. We need biomatter and nitric acid. Um, God, I feel like I'm going to regret bringing up the biomatter. We can always undo it. It's fine. Biomatter. And biomatter. Fantastic. That should be in everything if this is going to work. And that's all we have to do here. Uh, do I still have a blueprint handy of one of those trains? I don't think so. Or at least I don't know where it is. Actually, I might do. Core fragment? That's a long one. Uh, I'm not looking for a long one right now. Vanilla schedule. There, there we go. Okay. Let's start by putting it over here. And then... Give it some... Solids. Oops. That's better. Give it some engines. And... Give it some fuel. And the schedule's gonna be... Biomass. Uh, let's see. This one? Empty it up here. And... Provide a biomass. That looks weird. Did I break my naming convention? Where's the biomass? Oh, I see. It's because it's like requesting this and... You know, I think that's actually pretty normal. I don't know why I got confused by it. Oh, mess. Okay. So this is where we pick it up. Um, after we go downstairs. 
One second, one second, and go. Down the elevator. Sergeant Dog, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it looks like we're full on at least two types of core fragments here. Beryl and Holmanite. That's good. What about Iridium? I think we over... Uh, we deliberately overdid... Well, I thought we overdid the core fragment processing for all of them, but... Um, what's your problem? What do you mean, no path? Where are you trying to go to? Oh, the new one. That's fine. I was going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I, while I was here, I was going to go grab the construction train. Which should have got its butts back by now. And then... Wait, 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 wait. Go back here. So that I can schedule you properly. Uh, once you are loaded, go... Oh, come on. Once you are loaded, go over here. Wait for inactivity. And while we're here... Um... Well, I was going to throw together some fertilizer on the ground. Probably should. Biomatter nitric acid. Where do we have nitric acid? I want to do a really slapped together build for this because it's going to be very temporary. Preferably somewhere close to the biomatter because I'm just going to feed it manually. That's relatively close. So everywhere there's Holmanite up here. Oh, right there. Now oh, that makes sense. Alright, I'm just going to steal a bunch of biomass. TY, TY, yes. Fantastic. Why do I have a bunch of explosives in my inventory? And why... When I jetpack around, does it get a little bit lurchy? I notice it particularly while I'm, uh, like, clearing biters on other planets. Oh, right, we're doing construction. We're, pl we're placing signals at the moment, so that's actually kind of to be expected. Can they reach all the way over there? No. We need to get our train to come over here next. Replace some of those signals and fix the no paths. Do I have any... Oh, don't tell me. I don't have any chemical plants. I have biochemical facilities. Yeah. Let's go grab some. Biochemical facility. Let's grab them from the mall. I mean, regular chemical plants. Where are they? I don't think I'm going to spot them this way. Oh, wait. I see them. Just when I was about to search. Okay. Let's grab a couple... And then... Um, we're just looking for this plus biomatter, right? How about we do a line? Th 
for fertilizer. I'm definitely not enjoying those lurches. Uh, what if we put another lot up here? How much longer is this going to go on? We should have... We should be already done with the... With the signals being placed. It wasn't like this last week. What the hell is happening? Oh, I think we're out of cliff explosives here. Or something. Oh no. Oh, the bots are failing to recharge. Let's just park it here for a while. Okay. Let's go here. Shift C. And how fast do we get fertilizer? 10 per second? Seems good. Stacks to 50, although I don't I don't know if the machines are gonna go that far. How many would it take to get to We need a bio two, right? Good grief. We need a bunch of nutrient gel. Five makes fifty, and fifty makes uh, five nutrient vats. So it's five to five. And how many nutrient vats do we need to make? <sighs> it's so hard to say. We only need a small amount of bioscience, though. We need 20 nutrient vats uh, to make a genetics facility. That's not that much. Okay. We've already got 12 stacks. Fantastic. Bots are taking their sweet Oh, wait, I just realized. We didn't give them time enough to recharge. Because this thing doesn't have solar panels or anything. Alright, back to... Back to base with you. I need to go over and deliver purple belts as well. I was hoping to drop off all of this biomatter while I'm here. But might actually take a minute. Okay. Back up the spell elevator we go. Worker robot speed nine is almost at fifty percent. I wonder if science is moving though. Uh not right this instant. Probably demanding quite a lot from it. Another 2400 uh, energy science pack threes. That might take a little while. Oh yeah, uh, before I forget, we have some rewards to dispense. Let's see, Zetius. Oh, we already did that one. Fantastic. Uh, twist. Twist eight five the. Didn't do that last week, did I? Don't think so. Yes, it's cool base. Thank you. Let's put this one here. Did I get that right? Yes, except for the placement. And then we have repetitive beats. Uh, I guess we're upgrading you to gold. Can I just do it like this? Nope. There we go. Up to date. Fantastic. 
Uh, I definitely don't want to be taking these text plates with me. Bots can take those back. There are no logic bots here, though. Um, how about this? That's overkill, but whatever. You just put all the fertilizer back into the machines? Oh, no. Oh, no. Thanks for pointing that one out. Back we go. I should probably get some more thrusters going. I do have a decent number of thrusters already. Where did we leave it? Uh, right about here. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, that does put the fertilizer back in the machines. Oh dear. I'm getting a little low on solid rocket fuel. Gotta pick some up. And in we go. Where am I going? Over to our spaghetti build. Um, dump the fertilizer in here. And then we just need coal, which is obviously not here right now. Uh, chemical gel, bio sludge, cosmic water. Even if I do bring a bunch of stuff by hand, uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier if we drop off fluids with a train. Maybe move that over a bit. And a little two-way rail. Should get the job done, I think. Uh, no, it would need more signals than that. Can't really squeeze them in there. There we go. So we're going to need a LTN station. Uh, how about here-ish? And we're going to need... Three different fluid drop-offs. This could be one. This could be two. I need some space pipe. I guess that one can be bio sludge. This one could be chemical gel or cosmic water. And... Whichever on the other side. And I'll just request the bare minimum because we don't want to leave extra stuff behind after our spaghetti. We're going to need to read from the logistic train stop output with the pumps so that we only output the right fluid. And what would be the easiest way to do this? Probably like that. Seems good. Alright, so this one is going to be Cosmic Water. We'll get a negative one signal if the train is trying to empty itself of that fluid. Uh, this one is Bio Sludge. And this one is chemical gel. And maybe I should have just done short trains for this. It's not too late.
Where am I looking? What was that about? Oh. Okay. Uh... I could try short trains and see if anything... See if anything doesn't get delivered. Don't forget to connect all of these to LTN. And don't forget some solids as well. Can we can we do some bulk rail unloaders here? I think we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so far we need coal. Um pretty sure we've got coal up here. We do. I'm just going to bring the fertilizer myself, I guess. Uh, glass and iron. Probably going to need a lot of stuff, actually. And we'll organize it with the old robo network. Is that going to cause problems with these? Probably. Let's see, this is just getting rid of junk, this is just getting rid of junk. I think I turned this one off. Oh, it provides anything that we've got a hundred stacks of. A hundred and three stacks of. We'll turn that off for now. I think I already turned this one off, and already turned this one off. Fantastic. All right, so RoboPort. Um, just to detect what we've already got. Let's put down some power already. Uh, what else? I need some active providers to take everything out. And I need some Logibots. Preferably more than 25. Wait, I think we've already got like 50 logistic bots in this network. Yeah, we do. Alright, so... Hole. Um, half of this for 50 stacks. Next one was fertilizer, iron, and glass. And we should have... I was going to say all three of those on the way here. Do we already have some iron plate, glass plate? We do. So why isn't... Uh, why doesn't it get... Oh, it's already delivered. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that just leaves the fluids. Um, I think I'll set the provide threshold a bit lower. In fact... Why don't we just get, like, 10k at a time? Bump it up by 10%. And cosmic water. I just want a smaller temporary build here. So that we can get rid of it more easily. delivery and we'll have our nutrient gel. 
Where's where's our cosmic water though? Oh, let me guess. I didn't configure it for short trains. Oh, I did configure it for short uh, short trains. In fact, I haven't upgraded this uh, provide threshold. Oh, here it comes. Even though I just increased the threshold. Why have we got so little cosmic water though? Um, that's actually pretty weird. That's really weird. Did we just have a run on cosmic water? It's not like we're trying to limit what's in this, right? Hmm. Might be time for a beacon. Which I didn't actually leave room for. Uh, or did I? We could put it on either side. And that would actually work just fine. You just put all... Ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, we're short on water. No, we're not. Oh. We stop if we've got 100k cosmic water. Why did I do that? That's actually pretty confusing. Um, I mean, it could consume a lot, but I think we could definitely build up more of a stockpile than that. Is it to allow for the dirty cosmic to come back? Uh, yes, that's probably it. I think we should allow for a bigger threshold, though. Yeah, contaminated cosmic water, we need to make sure the storage for that. And for it to turn back into cosmic. Uh, come to think of it, I think doing the math roughly, it's very easy to make a lot more cosmic water than we need. So you probably don't need that big of a buffer, but the idea that we wouldn't have... You know, the two long trains wouldn't be able to come one after the other to pick this up. Uh, I don't think I agree with that one. Um, but yeah, there's our chemical gel, there's our nutrient vats. And we'll soon be able to make some biochemical facilities. No, oh, no, those are the things we've already got here. Um, what are they called again? Genetics. Genetics facility. We just need 20 for each genetics facility. And... I think we only need like 4 or 5 genetic facilities for the entire playthrough. Um, I don't suppose I can handcraft it. Seriously doubt it. Needs to be made in a space menu factory and here it comes maybe I should just put this here actually and insert And anything else we need. LDS and glass. May as well put a requester here, I suppose. Except I don't want to request in really large numbers. It's probably fine. So then we need a genetics facility to make uh, genetic data. Do we not have a space assembly? We do. Fantastic. This could probably be a little bit faster. There we go. And... What do we need here? Blank data card, biosludge, lithium chloride. 
I definitely don't have lithium chloride upstairs. Nope. Um, are we going to need to do that at scale? I think so. It goes into genetic data, and that can only be done in space. And I don't believe there's another way to make genetic data. Well, except if you can't recycle recipes, which is, there's only one of them. It consumes 10% of the, gene the 10 genetic data that you put in. Okay, so... Lithium chloride? Needs to go here. This one's getting to be a bunch of misfits. Lithium chloride and lithium chloride and set that for everything. And don't forget the tag. And then we need a vanilla scheduled train. And to maybe have less frequent autosaves. That wasn't as long. Let's fly over. Give it the necessary stuff. Oops. Five and seven. And five and seven. Give it the schedule. Lithium chloride. Uh, we already have a vanilla pickup only for this. No, this is the drop-off I just made, Dub. Empty. And... It's probably fine to just have it pick up from the LTN station. For now. Full cargo. Change that to one second. And I think it's ready. Let's test it. Down we go. Into the depot. One second in activity. Fuel up. They almost were in sync. All the zappy zaps. Up we go to pick up lithium chloride. Not too far away. Oh, and I actually used a splitter here. And up the elevator. What are we missing from this build over here? Uh, let's see. Quite a lot. My, my cursor disappeared. That's rude. And after one second, we're going to go drop off lithium chloride and give it over to LTM. Cool, cool, cool. What was I trying to f figure out over here? Um, yeah, we need how many more? 
33 more pulverizers. We definitely don't usually carry that many. Uh, what do we have here? 15? Well, I can either make them carry another... Why are there 33 extra construction bots in this wagon? Actually, I think I remember why. Go drop them off. And then... I think we actually do have room. No, I, I can put like 30... pulverizers in here. Let's just put in enough so it'll only be two more trips. Uh, meanwhile, we need some lithium... Lithium chloride. Blank data cards and bio sludge. That's not too difficult. Could I just squeeze this up somewhere? Where we're going to conveniently enough have the bio sludge? We need to output contaminated cosmic. What signs are your bots making the spaghetti in the top right? Uh, up here? They're not doing this anymore. I disabled it, I'm pretty sure. I got rid of the actual labs, so they should definitely have stopped somewhere. Alright. Construction train... Should be ready to go. Let's make it to a couple more laps. Wait for inactivity. And... Over here as well. And over here as well. Probably should have set that to 15 seconds, but it seems to be doing okay. Uh, and then once it's gone and done all of that... Uh, after it's done this lap... Go and do 15 seconds of inactivity there. With any luck, most of that'll be done next time we look. Alright. Oh, I really need to pick up some more rocket fuel. Let's do that. Actually, there should be some... Uh, I'll go... I'll run by the spaceship for it. I know where that is. Up we go... And then, um, can I just move this over a bit? Something like that. We need blank data cards and lithium. Uh, didn't mean to handcraft that, but it's fine. Actually got a bunch of blanks lying around already. 1.5k? Maybe we won't even need to trigger a delivery for that. Lithium chloride, though. Stacks to 50. That should get it brought over. Fantastic. And then... Uh, that's our genetic data. Now we need some bloody coolant. Um, 
negative 100 to 25. Is this still making coolant? It is too. Uh, I'm not sure where that's coming from. Oh no. Oh no. Um, yeah, I don't actually want all of that active. Let's cut it off here. We'll tidy all this up eventually. Uh, but I guess we can allow the thermo fluid for a bit longer. This is negative 100 already. So, what if I just steal that somehow? Two, three, four, five, seven. How about that? Seven, eight, that's too many. Five and three and three, that's four. God damn it. How about we move this over? How about we don't? And the 25 needs to come back uh, over here, which... Gets him! Gauss! Gauss! Gets him. Fraser K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's kind of awkward. Let's just do it like this. And... Uh, where are we going to squeeze these undergrounds through? Actually, I might have to go all the way around, considering what I've done here. Whoops. It's probably fine. Pro probably. Do we have a 15... Perfect. I see we're cooking some pasta for bio, indeed. Shame food display. Uh, what's that? Four tiles. Let's just do undergrounds. Okay. Uh, we need some biomass still. No, uh, bio... Oh, what's it called again? We need the debug menu just so that we can see... I think it's called specimen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specimen. And for that, we need nutrient gel. And bioculture. How do we make bioculture? Uh, with nutrient vats, of course. And a second genetics facility. Which, uh, surprisingly, doesn't have any waste outputs. In that case... Alright, this is the part where we would need Vitamelange Spice. Oh, this needs genetic data as well. That is not inconvenient. Cool. And we'll need a station to pick up uh, the junk fluid. Let's expand this out a bit. I'm 
iCloud, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You didn't get to see my pie's servant? Servant T-Haxes. Wait, do you have dinosaur slaves? Do I need to free my brethren? Yeah, you get them. Freedom for dinosaurs. They mine a certain type of ore for you. They're adorable. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. The output fluids. Um, that one might line up okay. Sort of. Little hard hats. Nice. So that's going to be contaminated cosmic. And I'm pretty sure somewhere or other... We had to make contaminated bio sludge. Pretty sure. Um, we get some nutrient vats. I don't really want to belt them. We've got bots. If we're doing spaghetti, let's use bots. Is that not in the robot network? It is. Um, but we don't have... Give me some passive provider. Just limit it to one stack. Should be... Pretty fast. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So that just leaves Vidamelange. How much further can we go without the Vidamelange, I wonder? Uh, not too far. It was bioculture that we needed to make specimen. Bioculture and nutrient gel. I can take it, the nutrient gel directly from here. Uh, and we need a growth facility which we need yet another genetics facility to make. Uh, can we not make that? Genetics facility. Wait, did I? No, 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 it's made in a space manufacturing. It's actually not that hard to make. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Growth facility. Um, I guess request a chest. See what we've got lying around. Apparently everything. Whoops. No, I don't think we have a hundred lamps. Let's go grab some. I have expected to be able to spot them right off the bat. Lamp is in here. And there's our growth facility to make bio sludge. And yeah, that's the thing that gives us the contaminated bio sludge. Alright. Oh, I'm stuck. Hey, I can actually pick a dollies this onto me, so I can't move. Maybe I could have pick a dollies to the space elevator to unstick myself that one time. I doubt it. Um, so what if, hypothetically, contaminated cosmic can go this way, contaminated bio sludge can go this way, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Big cool. 
Raul, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Sway, welcome also. Which mods are for the green arrow uh, and to shuffle placed buildings? Uh, Factory Search is the name of this mod. Very, 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 very useful. You can even look for stuff that's just, like, on the ground. Uh, and the other mod is called Picker Dollies. One that lets you move stuff. Um, and then we're going to have biomass probably just dumped in a chest for now. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I think we really are at the point where we need to go get some vitamelange, unfortunately. How's our scorching going? There's still at least one biter base left. Although I only see one bite of base. Where's our energy beam? Energy beam? Oh, it is attacking individual biters. And taking its sweet time. Look at that. 27,000 hit points and probably a monstrous amount of regeneration. This is how long it takes an energy beam to kill a leviathan snapper. Uh, with, let's see. Uh, 22 gigawatts. 22 gigawatts of energy in, uh, sent through that beam. We do lose like 37 percent of it because of the distance um but yeah well over 10 gigawatts still taking its sweet time burning the armored biters to death it becomes silly after a while because the biters reproduce while this is happening i do have uh expansion turned off because we were playing with Rampant. Um, so I didn't want it to be too crazy. But... Unfortunately, Rampant murdered the UPS. All, at, all in one go, eventually. Does that apply to other planets? Indeed. Alright, well, that is taking a surprisingly long time, but I am going to rest easier knowing that we don't have to worry about it missing individual biters. I think I've already got the orbital base set up for Musk Garden. Yes, we've even got the space elevator in place. So I should actually just go there? We could at least get some coal mining started and hope that our energy beam doesn't destroy our own stuff. Why do I have so much glass in my inventory now? There we go. Alright, uh, we should have everything we need in the construction ship. I could probably go ahead and activate my personal logistics before we go. And that should probably, by now, include some life support. I was organizing it manually for a while. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, maybe I'll put it up here, though. Adventure, woohoo, indeed. Alright, let's get going. Moss Garden Orbit. And I might just grab a drink real quick.
Viking Gamer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I thought there was a little bit of dust on my screen there, but it was actually just the stars in the background. We are 42 seconds out from Moss Garden. Indeed, we will get them. Almonds, craze, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I've actually set up everything, I think, except for the drop-off. No, we did do... We did do the drop-off. I might have done this off-stream. I don't remember. Um, but it looks like I've configured it. Fantastic. It's all supplied. Uh, we've set this to ID 17. Fantastic. I think it's ready. Yeah, it should be ready. Did I do this part? It's already set up. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, Vita Melange Core Fragment Dispatch. There we go. There we go. All right, let's anchor. And I think I brought a bunch of cables this time. Nice. Let me just dig a hole in my spaceship. We only need 513 to get started. Oh, apparently I can shift C them straight in to the space elevator as well. Bring those construction bots back. What was that noise? Oh. Media defense is firing. Nice. One shot, one kill. And... Yoink. And once more with feeling. Alright. That'll definitely keep it running for a while. Where the hell did my... Spaceship wall that I just picked up go? What? What? Where did Shift C put my spaceship wall? Storage. Huh? Oh. Do I have, like, spare spaceship walls up here, just in case? Maybe? No. The search would have found it. Um. Hello? Where... Where did my spaceship wall go? Ground. It's on the ground. Okay. You little sneak. Did I get it? I did get it. Fantastic. Alright, did I put Logibots in here? I did. Beautiful. And beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, spell Evader should be just about ready to work. Almost there. I should grab a bunch of rail. And pylon substations. I'm not going to need logistic train stops this time. Gonna need some regular ones. Uh, space rail, GTFO. I'm gonna need a lot of bulk rail loaders, blue belt. Why do I have space belt right now? Don't need any ye old inserters or any inserters for that matter. And let's grab. The rest of these, and a bunch of these. 
Cool, cool, cool. We've already got all our electricity, which is a good 3.1 gigawatts. Here we are on Moss Garden. Uh, and I feel like I should check where our energy beam is, lest it scorch me to death. Should probably make a shortcut for this. If I haven't already. Oh, I did. Calidus Orbit. Control 2. Alright. Uh, so where is our beam? It shows where it's going when I click choose coordinates, not where it is. Oh, here it is. Deleting all those fake trees. With kind of alarming alacrity. What's cooking, indeed? Um, I think we've got rid of all... Oh, I think we can search for them, actually. Biter, spawners... No, we can't. I remember I was trying to search for worms this way. But suffice to say, I don't think it's terribly likely, especially around the middle that we're going to see the beam or run into biters. That said, uh, maybe I should save real quick for no reason, because it's totally unnecessary. We are very safe. All right. Let's borrow from one of our other outposts. Um, I like Stromhurst best. This is the first one where I standardized this bit. Have that coming out of the spell evader. Don't need those random... Actually, that'll probably line up precisely. With the spell evader. Yeah, that's not random at all. And I need to get rid of these fake trees. I have a procedure for this. Fantastic. So basically we've got a series stacker for three trains, and then we're going to turn right, head on down to Mr. Horseam number one, grab our, let's see, I think we want front left of this one, right? Probably. Grab our standardized. I wish I could set these to like rotate back when I'm done with them. Grab our standardized train outposts, and I guess we're going to turn a corner like this to get started. Pew, 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 pew. And nice standardized corner. Pew pew pew. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's as small as a corner gets in Factorio, right? Trains. Beautiful. It really is luxurious not having to search for the last of the biters now. So this first drill is going to give us almost 16 Vitam Lunge core fragments per second. Damn. That's pretty good. Vitam Lunge shouldn't be too difficult, relatively. 
Uh, where do I want to go next? I definitely think I'll go for the usual T intersection behind the spell evader. Probably do some landfill here. Is that a biter? It is a biter. Let's save the energy beam from having to come and personally deal with this guy. Alright, so we're going to have some rail down this way, rail up this way. Pew, indeed. Uh, let's see. We're not going south. We are going north. Come back this way. Do we also want one to the left? I think so. And now we'll need some more pew pew. Oh, it doesn't actually... I don't think there is a way to destroy the stone on the ground, deliberately or by accident. So we'll probably put this here. Have rail like this. Grab our little blueprint book, and I think we want front right, probably. Yeah, 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 definitely. Something's in the way here. It's not the... Oh, I think it is the core drill. Damn it. Even though the graphic doesn't make it look like it should be. Uh, we'll probably just do the same thing but move it back a bit. Why do I have so few construction bots? I have 54. I think it's because I have just the one personal robo right now. Alright, so I'll put you here, I guess. Don't forget the wire. And probably this would be the cleanest. I suppose. If it didn't happen to line up straight the space elevator like that, I probably would have done it a little bit differently. Do we not have power here? Oh, right. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Now we know it's all working. And is this one already powered? Not even a little bit. Probably want to run this over here. And then down this way. Oh, that's perfect. Nice and neat. Very tidy. And four. Perfect. We're now getting 22.5 core fragments per second with quite a big buffer before we start wasting time. Um, I could have a bit of rail that goes straight back around here, but I really don't think it's necessary. As I've said, uh, when it comes to a rail network that only picks up core fragments, you don't really have to worry about traffic very much, because the more stations you've got, the slower they are individually. So we'll just allow the trains to pass straight through there. Give it the old chain signal. So they're only allowed to stop here if it's to pick up a train load. And time for some more pew pew. Let's 
seems good. Seethia, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More pew pew. Uh, that's why I used the bots before. There we go. I think I went a little bit too far. And... Uh, how many... How far do I want to go, ultimately? We get a relatively good amount from just a f one core mining drill. Big Cool, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Well, I'm definitely going to go this far at the very least. Uh, let's go deal with those biters while we're at it. The beam will jump if it has to go a long way, but... Better to save it some trouble if we can. Very carefully, because we're not wearing armor. And the rest should be fine. Alright, so let's go this way. And this way. And we'll obviously have to get rid of some of those trees. And I think we'll do a little right turn here, perhaps. It's actually at kind of an awkward distance from where the rail is. Yeah, maybe we'll just do it like this. Grab an underground and do it this way. Okay, let's make it happen. I think I'll start from the top just so that we don't have random bits of rail missing that I've managed to forget. Where are my bots? Here they come. Don't forget some signals. Two way and one way. So we can go only one way from there, only one way up there. We can go down here and we can go back up. Grab a little landfill. Fantastic. Turn off Roboport, because this is going to be a bit faster until we run into something. Again already. God damn it. Let's just let the bots have their fun. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think we've placed any rail here yet, so we can pew pew. Now we use the bots. And we're kind of on the home stretch now. And 
machen können. Don't forget to replace this. And don't forget the wire. And that should be fine. Let's see about some power poles. That's actually going to be kind of awkward. Um, what if I do a diagonal here? Oh, of course. Let's use Navset. I can't help but imagine that the trees are going to have messed some of those up, but it's probably hardly going to be noticeable. If the reach is ever so, ever so slightly different. more? Just one more. Oh, there's biters there? There actually are biters there. Probably better go get them. That's, uh, worker robot speed 9 has been stuck on 49% for quite a long time now. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Alright. And let's go grab these ones. Actually, maybe I should get some trains going already. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I should have done this first if I haven't. On a previous play session. Uh, nope, we do have some charged batteries here. Fan bloody tastic. Uh, let's grab some trains. Maybe not that many all at once. Um... All right. Train numero uno. Oh, I forgot. If I put these all together, they tend to stick to each other. Let me just go ahead and steal from myself again. We should have a nice... Wow, they're all backed up. Cool. I have no idea why the trim on this planet didn't cut off all of this. It actually gave us a different trim the second time I tried it. Nope, it's about the same. And now our UPS is ground to a halt for a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to blueprint this one. Trains only. And this is uh, CF train template. I'm going to put one right about here. And we're going to have to change the schedule just a little bit. Uh, so that it's going up and down Moss Garden. The planet that it's actually on. Okay. And let's blueprint that as well. So we can just copy that twice. Uh, I guess I'll put it there. Let's grab some fuel real quick as well. Did I already put these in? I don't think so. 
Otherwise, I would have more room in my inventory. Fantastic. All right, let's grab some battery packs and send you on your merry way. All three stops are inaccessible from current position. I, I think it's technically ahead of the third stacker. Core fragment pickup, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, that was quick. That was very quick. Up we go. And there's our first Vitamelange core fragments coming through. Alright, I might want to let the train go past before cutting it off over here. As we make our next one. That's not quite right. Let's go get some more. I forgot to bring it some fuel. More fuel. Probably don't need to give it 10 on each side to get started, but whatever. And away it goes. Let's let this one three for now. Why is it still saying no pun? Oh, it's fine. And once more with feeling. Perfect. Grab some more train fuel. Which we're actually desperately struggling to catch up with. Maybe I'll steal some. Oh, you took all of it. That's why. And you are good to go. Wait, what? I think it's confused. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so that's uh, Vidomlange Core Fragments, and I believe this is all set up already. 25 and 30. This is number 5. Oh, that's an old outpost. This is 3. 15 to 25. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's set up correctly. Uh, what was the second last outpost? I think it was a verb T. The second last one that I made or updated. Uh, that is... Signal 5... Greater than 25, less than or equal to 30. Did I not update this? Wait, no, I think I just got confused. Verb T, view surface, go to spellevator, which is down here. View opposite end. S is 4. 20 to 25. And this is 25 to 30. Cool, cool, cool. That all seems to be correct. And... Let's 
going to be another, I don't know, four to six train loads before we've got enough to summon a spaceship. Uh, but it should all be working already. We should probably make it a bit faster while we're here. Gonna need some more landfill. Pretty sure I have some. Uh, I could be wrong though. We do indeed have more landfill. Quite a bit more. And... Gonna need some pew pew for the trees. Oh, can we confirm hostile extinction yet? Nope, there are still hostiles. Slowly getting cooked. And apparently there are more over this way somewhere. Alright, so where are we going to do this one? Pretty obvious, I think. We'll go straight north and then turn to the left. And then do a front right kind of train stop. Like this one. Oh, that's a good fit. That's cozy. I don't think anything's missing here. Energy beam has obviously been here. goes here. And power poles. Um, I think I'll borrow this one. And then left. And I don't think... Oh, that just barely reaches everything. Nice. Down we go. I should probably check why our science is not moving. Uh, but that appears to be our drill working. Fantastic. So why don't we have more energy science coming? It's been a while. Energy 3. Is missing nothing? actually backed up. What? Uh, well that's definitely not the problem that I was expecting. Uh, let's see. We're asking for 200 energy science packs. There's 94 here. Oh. Are we out of some other science pack? Like optimization tech card? No. Which one are we missing? Rocket tech card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocket tech card. I think we finally, finally ran out of that backlog. Never mind, there's 20,000 over here. Um... <laughs> Twenty thousand. Exactly one hundred stacks. Or maybe like ever so slightly more. Uh I think I set the provide stack threshold here to one oh three or something. Yay indeed. It's funny, by the time we're using these builds here, uh I might want to update them. We actually haven't 
I, I still haven't made satellite telemetry on Hagen, believe it or not. Um, how do we make it again? We have to launch satellites. Need to lower the stack threshold? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Um, if I make it 100, we'll probably get a train picking up something else. Nope, there we go. Alright, well, that'll be another 20k science anyway. Before we need to do anything about that. I could leave our Vidimelange planet like this for now. Uh, but I feel like we could do a little bit better than five. Oh, it's not even five. I didn't do this one. Four core mining drills. We are getting 31 core fragments per second. It's a good start. I think we'll do right here. Again. Something like this. I don't want to break anything though. Perfect. Actually... Oh, I think I can do this with an underground. It looks a little scuffed, but it's pretty tidy, kind of. And then we'll need some signals over here. Uh, and some power would probably be a good idea. It's going to have to be at a weird angle, though, I think. Uh, I guess I could live with that. Actually, that looks really strange because of the rendering from the bulk rail loader. Oh, wait. Can this actually be, like, horizontal? Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then I should probably get these three before I go. That energy glaive uh, moving towards my rail network is actually kind of making me nervous. But it's probably fine. Probably. Alright, I think I'll do a diagonal rail up here. So we're going to go pew and pew. Throw in some signals over here. And, yeah, we'll probably have that go over this way and all around over this way. Fantastic. How big is this planet? It's probably worth getting every... Si oh, it's a little bigger than I thought. I think, I think we'll only get, like, this much... Won't go too deep into diminishing returns here. Don't want to cover that much area. Make the save valve bigger. Um, could I perhaps not landfill all of this? And instead... Reach across this way? Something like that. even better. It's going to line up very well. Alright, so that log and that tree, I think, need to go. And then this one.
perfect. Oh, one off. Figures. Now we need some power. Also need this rail to connect. Fantastic. And I think... I think we'll have the rail turn up this way. To head over this way. This thing's actually just maintaining health at the moment. What? Did it just disappear? Did I imagine that? Or did a behemoth's... Behemoth Bider just vanish? Thoroughly confused. Alright, so maybe like this? Not like that. And pew pew. They despawn when they have no nest, if I remember was what was said in chat. Really? Do we even have any nests left on this planet though? And if so... Ah, uh, whatever. I can't be bothered questioning it anymore. Figure out where this is going to go. Perfect. I would shoot, but it would damage or destroy the rail. Bots, you're messing me up. There we go. Did I signal that? I did. Fantastic. And... Uh, I guess we'll have like a T intersection here or something. Actually, no. I think instead it'll look something... What the? Something like this. Move that over one. Where, where's my belt? There we go. Just have a... I, I hate these fake trees. They are very, very annoying. Is that... Let me just do a diagonal... Right about... Here, I guess. Well, I, I could do a little landfill in there to make it easier, but... This right about here is probably fine. Just to figure out where it's gonna go. It's actually going straight through the trees. Just delete that mod? Yeah, I keep meaning to, and I forget to. I need to do a whole... backup. That doesn't actually do that much damage to the rail. I was very, very rushed today, unfortunately. Alright. This can go here. And this one, I need to do is some um, landscaping over here first. I'll watch you delete it on stream. <laughs> I'm sure. 
Alright, and that. And then. That can go there. Got there eventually. Signals. They're gonna look like this. It's already connected, isn't it? What the heck was that? How are you in the way? Honestly. Alright, where's our drill? There we go. Probably about here. Grab our blueprints, and that looks pretty sensible to me, except, well that should work, that should be fine. The locomotive at the end is going to be in a bit of an angle, but A, uh, the cargo wagon won't, B, I think it doesn't actually care if the cargo wagon is at an angle. Alright, let's grab some power poles. I also need to go back for some belt. Oops. Does that actually fit there? It does. Can I actually place that there? I cannot. that cover everything? It actually would. Let me go get some more belt first. And where is belt? Belt is here. Um, where did my splitters just go now? I was trying to... There we go. I was trying to do this to ensure that I had everything. Whoop! No, 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 no. That's not what I had in mind. Don't control click the empty space if you don't want to pick everything up. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so power poles. And where is this one gonna go? Oh, wait, what? That works. Yeah, we can do that. And then some diagonals from here. Unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Uh, so we do a slight non-45 degree diagonal, or do we do something like this? I feel like that's going to look more deliberate, shall we say. Out of here, tree. And up we go. And we can't quite cover everything with that. Let's just put one over here. Yeah. 
And let's place the belts before it gets powered so it'll be all even. Especially down here. Do we still have biters on this planet? We do not. You've confirmed that the surface of Moss Garden is clear of hostiles. Threat reduced to 1% because it's got biter medias. And trim surface? Probably should have done that after I was sure that I got all of the core mining drills that I wanted to. But this should be more than enough for our purposes for a while. What the... What? Energy beam? Is this why we trimmed all the way up here? I guess so. We'll just have to trim it again later on. And where did that go? Here, here. And that's actually probably too far. Nope, that's fine. So much for it being clear of hostiles. Um, but yeah, we now have... That one's not actually working yet. Glad I checked. I usually double check them all anyway. Entity, coal mining drill. We have eight for a total of 45 uh, core fragments per second. And we'll just double check they're all working properly. If we can see uh, all four of these are getting core fragments, then we know it's doing just fine. And then we'll double check that our trains have path to each and every one of them. Just by attempting, well not attempting, uh, holding control as if we're going to make a temporary train spot, uh, train stop. Looks good to me. Okay, and I think we signaled all of that properly. How much, uh, how much vit do we have upstairs? Not enough to bring a ship yet. Uh, but another two or three train loads, and it will be. Except every time we need, uh, every time we make another station, it slows every individual station down. It's going to be longer before it triggers a delivery. Like over here we've got 2.4k out of 4. 2.8k. 3.6. 1 1.5. 1.1. 1 650. 1.5. I think that's it. So... Was it take an individual drill to make 400? Was it this one? No. Where was the one that was nearly full? 3.8k. Uh... About 35 seconds. Before it triggers another train delivery. But I don't think that 4,000 is going to be enough. I think we need at least 9,000? Oh, we've already got 48k up here. Uh, did I miss something? Uh... 
Let me just check back at home. Either I'm misremembering the logic of my own system. 1170. I think we did configure that already. Moon Orbit 1170. Fantastic. Currently, we're trying to schedule a ship to go pick up Almanite. That'll be the next ship to launch. Should probably check where all my ships are. I think one just left. Or did it arrive? Do you have somewhere for these core fragments to go? Uh, yes. Do you mean back at Hagen Orbit? The answer is yes. Alright. So once this is empty, a little bit later it should launch to go pick up Holmanite core fragments. And there it is. Fantastic. Where is it going? Verb T. Perfect. Uh, so what's our next one? How many outposts do we have vying for spaceships that get assigned pseudo-randomly? Next is uh, iridite, uh, iridium. Iridite core fragments. So are all of our ships out and about at the moment, almost? I only see purple core fragments with a queue to drop off. And that's, I think, only two ships. Let's see. Coming back to Hagen Orbit with Beryl. Uh, I should probably check that the count is accurate. It says... Two ships are outbound to uh, Planet Orbit 1176. I think that's Verb T. Yes. I only see one ship on the way to Verb T, though. Or is the next one scheduled to go to Verb T as well? Didn't we just send one to go pick up... No, 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 it hasn't launched yet. To go pick up uh, Iridite Core Fragments. Hmm. Do we actually just need more spaceships again? If they're all busy, you'd think more than, like, one or two of them would be outbound. 37k. I'm pretty sure our regular ship has 18 point something thousand. 18 and a half. We can carry 18 and a half thousand core fragments and we're measuring it by how much storage worth of spaceship is on its way to each outpost. Uh, allegedly two ships are on their way to Verb T and no one else is outbound. Iron Hauler 12 is definitely not outbound. Uh, this one's Foenestra, which means... Oh, it's coming back. That's fine. So, none of you are free from being inbound. Foenestra with stuff means it's inbound. Hagen Orbit, Hagen Orbit, Hagen Orbit, Hagen Orbit. They're all inbound. Every single one of them. Except I don't know how... Uh, how our count is wrong for verb T. However, I do have an opportunity to correct that. That's it. What are the ones in Hagen Orbit waiting to drop off? It would be uh, purple core fragments. The Immersite Cave. 
Because the only reason you'd see them waiting to drop off is if there's already a ship in their way. So... How many ships do we have trying to drop off? Uh, that's one. How empty are you? What the hell? How did this happen? I think this is the one that got confused somehow. I think it somehow launched when it wasn't completely uh, unloaded. It's currently trying to land. Oh no, no, this is... No, it's coming back with Insight Cave Core Fragments. So that's not... Hmm. Hmm, I see. What do you do with basic core fragments resulting from Vita fragments? Voiding? No. Um, we just put them into the rail network and process them. So all the core fragment processing happens on Egan itself. And there we go. Yeah, we've got 60k core fragments here. Uh, it should definitely be summoning a ship here, but... Uh, we just... We probably need a few more ships, honestly. Which is nowhere near the problem that it used to be. Where am I? Am I in the train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go make some more spaceships. Actually, I don't think I even have to leave to do that. Did you not design a 1k hull stress ship also? Uh, yes, but we don't have the tech for it yet. Alright. And then... That's about to request... Uranium fuel cells. We also need to give it a little bit of time for the water to fill up, and the ion stream. Uh, this will be ion holder number 13. Honestly, I didn't think I would need this many ships for so relatively few outposts, but they are a little bit slow. I mean... They're our first generation of ships, so only 500 hull stress. We're going to need a few of them. Here come... I was going to say here come our uranium fuel cells, but apparently that's a problem. How about now? There we go. All right, and get the reactor started. Fantastic. And then? Uh, then I just need to get it to land into one of these empty uh, launches to have the system take over it. Oh, I think I already configured it to go for 14, which is... Barrel? Yeah, I guess we always have demand for barrel, so... Even though there's a ship there right now, that'll actually be fine. Alright, destination. Hagen Orbit. And go. And it should just wait here to land at the barrel drop-off. Get given a destination, some space elevator cables, ammo, etc. And then off it goes. 
I don't suppose we have any ships on the way to Moss Garden. Nope. Oh, wait. I just... It just occurred to me. This might be a bit more severe. No, 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 no. Um, we're not using, like, a... Anything signal to pick one of the outposts arbitrarily. It just depends on the timing. Um... It's sort of pseudo-random. Whichever... Whichever outpost is heard first after this gets reset is going to get a ship sent to it. And we do limit the number of ships that are sent to each outpost based on how, much, uh, how many core fragments they've got available. Uh, we do end up with some doubling up a little bit. Uh, obviously, we're never... Consuming Imasite Cave Core Fragments fast enough. But that's like having only one or two ships dedicated to each resource. So I really don't think that is worse than if we did it the dumb way. Let me grab these extra space train power packs. Won't have to deliver those anytime soon. Um, but yeah, at this rate, there's actually going to be a backup of Vidomlange core fragments. Lancel, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I shouldn't have walked across there. I could have got squished. Um, but yeah, let's go back to Hagen Orbit. And I need to make another spaceship or two. Assuming we have the floor to back it up, which we do. I noticed we have a bunch of the prerequisite in here, doing much better than we were before. Which made it all the more confusing that research had stopped. Alright. Fantastic. And we launch. What? Why are you damaged? Why do you have a broken spaceship wall? And why are there no repair packs here? There are repair packs here. There's no construction bots here. Well, that's not helpful. Um, we didn't get any more broken spaceships, did we? I find it rather odd that there's a broken spaceship at the dock, as opposed to out in space somewhere. Destination dash. What? Oh, I... do I need to... No, it's already here. It's trying to anchor. Is it not? How long till we get there? 22 seconds. Fantastic. Did a meteor slip through? I don't think so. Uh, we've actually got... 12... Media defenses. Protecting Hagen and Hagen Orbit. Alright, um, are we requesting some spare? Nope. I just have to go get them myself. Some spaceship walls. Here we go. I think that's all we need to fix this thing. I'm really quite confused about how we got an anchored spaceship with broken walls. That is really bizarre. Because if they have broken walls when they're in space, because they hit an asteroid or something, they shouldn't be able to move at all, right? 
they don't move at the 0 0.3, 0 0.32, whatever it is, units per second. Wouldn't in-game chat know the answer to that? Wait, what? Oh, you mean this? Uh, well, I can't scroll further than this, but the latest media got shut down. Alright, where are you off to? Verb team? It's probably like four of them headed for verb tea now. No, only two that I can see. Um, I'm beginning to think... I'm pretty sure this is working. Can I pause it and see what's on this thing? No, but I'm pretty sure it's transmitting. We're just getting kind of unlucky. There wouldn't be luck involved if we had enough spaceships. So supposedly three ships worth are on their way to Verb T. Is the counter for Verb T busted? Or is there actually three ships on the way? This is one. It counts as on the way here until it leaves. So now it should say two. Uh... 55k? What? That's not even a multiple of 18.5, is it? It is. Three. So there were four ships on the way to Verb T. I think it is counting it correctly. Moss Garden Orbit! There we go. There's our first ship automatically headed for Moss Garden Orbit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we got to get ahead of it and actually make Vitamelange core processing. Also, I still haven't fixed this. I did go through the entire base uh, off stream and upgrade to the tier 2 solar panels. But why are you still here? Oh, I think it was waiting for some bots to fly back or something. I really just need a little bit of scaffolding and some solar panels, please. No, some tier 2 solar panels. We're not doing the tier 1s anymore. Um, there we go. Chuck in some temporary filters. Get rid of the old solar panels. Fantastic. Actually, I should probably... It's fine. And let's get you to park down here. Uh, right about now, our ship should be landing at Moss Garden. Not quite yet. About a minute or so. Speaking of fast things, here comes our train. We need to make a train to move core fragments as well. Uh, which I'd better do up here, actually. This is probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Work of robot speed's gonna be up soon.
Oh, and this ship is definitely ready to go. We just need to launch it. Oh, I need to name it. I think it's number 14, the Earl Grey. Ion Holder 14. And launch. And maybe I don't need to panic that much um, with adding more ships if we already got one headed for Moss Garden. And here it goes. Time to land. Didn't bring any cables because I already stuffed uh, this outpost full of extra cables. Beautiful. And here's our little display showing just how quickly it's getting filled up. Which will be significantly faster quite soon. Another plus 50% base speed. Which I th think every... No. If we go back two tiers, it's plus 45%. Uh, that was the wrong one. Plus 40%. I'm guessing every couple of tiers it drops like another 5% or something. But yeah, another 50% base speed. That's a nice, uh, nice improvement. Why do I have blank observation frames? Oh, and you're trying to empty, aren't you? Okay, first of all, have some fuel, and then if I can do this without dying, give me some of these, and some of these. And I'm realizing I won't be able to do the whole schedule. Um, Alright, let me jump into the editor and just check that... We can just copy-paste edit one of the core fragment builds. Or perhaps not. I should probably remove a bunch of these. This is probably part of the problem. Uh, we already bl blueprinted all of this, but all of these train signals, even though they're on another surface, uh, are contributing to how long it takes for the game to figure out what's what when we whenever we place or remove a chain signal or train signal. So we shouldn't leave those lying around. That might actually be affecting our UPS if the pathing is that significant. I doubt it is, though, because our trains are very fast and have extra capacity. They don't have to drive around as often or for as long. The game hasn't crashed, I promise. Pinky swear. This is fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined. That really is starting to take a while. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Own Galaxy, good to see you again. Also, how are you today? Not too bad. Uh, just a little shocked at how long it's taking to remove a bunch of rail signals. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant. I see we're doing a PowerPoint on your rail system, <laughs> indeed. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and overconfidence killer. is perfectly safe and never harms anyone. 
Hey Dara, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, I was expecting maybe like 30 seconds, maybe even a minute, but I wasn't expecting a tea break uh, for how long this would take. Good gravy. Aren't we only removing like five rail blocks? Yeah, literally five rail blocks. From what I understand, uh, every time we place or remove a rail signal, even if it's on other surfaces, every train in the entire game repaths uh, and like considers every possible path or something like that. It's it doesn't sound like the most efficient way from of doing things, and judging by this, I could probably believe it. Tree Tech, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There it is. Was anyone timing that? It's a done. It's a done. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should probably m remove all these other old rail signals, but um, maybe I'll do it off stream. And maybe I'll save first. Anyway, let's grab our... Copper core fragment processing, perhaps? Or I could just copy-paste one of the ones I know that I've updated. Um, from the main game. That might be a good idea. Yeah, that's that's getting I could have sworn it wasn't nearly this bad last week. Okay, there we go. Uh so we're gonna go to Hagen, grab our uh Holmanite core fragment first. No, that's that's a bad example. We've got a little exception over here. Uh how about Emesite core fragments. Seems good to me. Except that it's got some roboports mixed in. And a bit of broken spaceship. And some old power poles. Yucky. Don't worry, those won't actually get placed. Not when we try to paste it over this. Seems to always be way worse in editor surface. Hmm, I'm not sure. All right, does Vitamelange follow the same pattern? I think it does. So we have 20 in, zero to four. I hate that, I wish it would just give us a percentage. Uh, zero to core four core fragments out, one stone and a bunch of what we're actually after. 20 raw imicite, uh, 0 to 4, 16, and 1. It's the exact same shape. Uh, it's probably the exact same speed. It is. Fantastic. Don't need to redesign that. It's really only, I think it's oil, uh, regular core fragments, and possibly... Possibly Vulcanite core fragments, yeah, because they output Pyroflux, but that only outputs one fluid. Um, and there's probably, like, I haven't even thought about it, but mineral water core fragments. I think everything, ex everything except for vanilla core fragments outputs zero or one fluid, so it's pretty easy to deal with. All right, so all of these are Vitamelange, right? And their power consumption is negative 70%. 
Yes, indeed. And then we just change some filters. These two are correct. This should be Vitamelange. And I don't think there's anything else to it. Let's test it real quick. Just make sure. What? 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 Uh, and we need to change this to Vit. This one to Vitamelange as well. Or Fragment Vitamelange. Make sure it's requesting. Well, I guess we're not actually going to be using LTN for this part. But for the sake of completeness, um, I'll make sure that that's all updated. And yeah, we need to update this. Looks good. Wait, did that say... No. No, it did not. It just sort of looked like it. I thought it was oil core fragments for a second there. Wait, why is this slightly off-center? Oh, no. Oh, the tragedy. I don't think we can abide this, can we? Maybe we could pretend we didn't see it for one of the other builds, but since we're here... Nope. Alright, that should be fine. Uh, and technically I should probably have a couple of signals here, but... These two are going to fill up so slowly that I don't think we need to really worry about it. Although they do not even remotely fill up at the same pace either. So we could probably ignore that. And with a stack size of 20, it really doesn't take long to drop off four fragments either. Alright, blueprint. Uh, Vit, or Fragment Vitamelange. Snap to Grid. What are you telling me that we're missing? Rename Vita Pickup Station. True. True. Thank you, I hate that you're right. True. Fantastic. All right, once more with feeling. Definitely nothing that needs updating this time. 700,000%. Bit core fragments, train stop names, uh, remove the cheat items. Do it before we do the snap to grid, otherwise it'll change that number up there. And I think that's it. Oh, sneaky RoboPort. Get out of here. And it went and changed our offset again. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Step one. Complete. Let's go build it before everything gets super saturated. I don't think we have to worry too, too much about that, but nevertheless, let's do it. Wait until passenger not present, then go back to the mall. What's flashing over here? That's normal, actually. 
And here we have copious amounts of Vitamolange Core Fragments. Why was that 25-1 again and not 26? Um, well, I used to just do it like 24, I think it is, like slightly off the middle, thinking that there was no way to like center it properly. Uh, but if you do the 25-1, you can actually rotate it um, like around the middle properly in a way that you couldn't do with a copy-paste. With the automatic snap to with the uh, rails and stuff. Where should we do Vitamelange? I kind of want it to have its own space. Um, I don't want to take up too much space that's super close to the space elevator because things like uh, material testing pack, I want to have an ex with small stack sizes, I want to have an extremely short trip to the space elevator. Okay, have to try that on my block again, indeed. Um, how about over here? Well, we've kind of got mineral water in the way, but I don't really care about the mineral water. How about, like, down this way? There's plenty of room down here. Let's do that. Oh, and we didn't empty the construction train properly, because of course we didn't. Did we get this built? Except for the advanced chemical plants that we're gonna burrow our way to through some spaghetti science. Fantastic. Ooh, that was kind of scary, even though I knew I pressed the jetpack button. Oh, I need to... Well, first of all, let's make the station. Um... Yeah, here is good. I, I would like it to have a short trip. The train, that is. To drop off the Vit core fragments, if we can. Let's get rid of the old power poles. And bit for fragment. What's in the way? Nothing too serious. Just need to swap out a couple of old signals. Didn't realize I had this much of this stuff in my own inventory. Dominique, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, this guy should be ready to go. We're missing some... Some wide area beacons, but nothing else. It's probably fine. Wait for inactivity... I wonder if even my simple rail outposts with the two-way rails and very little actual rail, hardly any sectors, if uh, even if they're on, maybe it's because they're on separate surfaces that it's getting to be a bit much for the pathing. the lurch. Oh, did we build this already? Not even missing anything? Cool, 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 cool. 
Uh, so now let's get our new train, and we've given it fuel, we've given it solar, we've given it additional electric engines. Let's give it a schedule. Poor Fragment Vitamelange. That's not the schedule that I'm looking for. Why did I make a long train here? Oh no. On the south rail, there's old power poles in that blueprint. How dare you. Be gone. Much better. Uh, yeah. I need to go and make adjustments to this embarrassing mistake. Did I just leave a bot behind? No, I think we're good. Up we go. Fusion energy is being researched. Very nice. I wonder if I could simply remove a couple of these, manual drive it backward very carefully, don't crash it, I said don't cr holy crap, uh, that looked kind of weird, and then it's either V or G or something, there we go, there we go, okay, this is definitely not the schedule that we want. Uh, let's steal the schedule from this guy. And paste it before he disappears off the surface. Fantastic. I think Fraser is right that the old poles are in the blueprint. Sword Essen? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Basic blocks? There it is. You're right. Okay. So we need Vitima Lunch or Fragment Drop Off and Vitima Lunch or Fragment Pickup. Up the elevator, go to depot, pick up core fragment, down the elevator, go to depot, drop off core fragment. Seems good. Let's test it. Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And grab some battery packs. Off of our special sushi. That leaves room for the empty batter uh, battery packs coming out of the train. And here we go. Our first VIT core fragments heading for processing. I think. Pop into a depot and leave and leave. That's not taking turns. Who has right of way here? Wait, destination full? How can destination be full? Uh. What? Oh, I know why. There we go. Been an alright week. How's the heat? Gotten a little cooler at all? It did for a while. Uh, we're having a minor heat wave at the moment. Uh, capped at 34 degrees today, 37 tomorrow. Nowhere near as bad as... What the heck is this? What? Are we not powered? 
I think we I think we're running off of wind power here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that was a little oopsie. There we go. There we go. And there's our first Vitamelange. Or oh, there will be in a second. Perfect. Alright, uh, now that we're falling behind that, we need to do our first Vitamelange processing. No fun, but hopefully it's a short stint, indeed. I mean, I've actually got the window closed for sound, and I'm not cooking live today, so there's that. Uh, so what are we doing? Vitamelange processing. And what does the first step look like in this mod set? There's really only res uh, only one recipe. We need pulverizers. You know what? I think we should steal the exact same layout again. Because, look at this. One thing goes in, three things come out, mainly one output and the other two are side outputs. Yeah, I shouldn't have deleted what I just had here. We're going to use the exact same layout. And just change the recipe and the stations. Assuming that we can use prod modules for this, which I would think so. It's still freezingly cold, good old Germany, indeed. Oh, I thought this was still loading for some reason. Uh, so Vitamelange Nugget. Look at this. One in, three out, including stone. One in, three out, including stone. And even the ratios are kind of similar. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this wood. Probably turn it into biomass. Uh, like bio sludge. Or something. I fear I might have to figure it out faster than someday TM. How much wood does this give us? 6.336 per second. For wood, that's actually kind of fast. California is definitely chilly this week too, although fortunately not drowning in rain like it was last month. Indeed. Uh... So if, if this one is stone, we, we've already got the filter for stone here. So we'll just change the uh, regular core fragment thing to wood. And wood. It's right next to it even. Uh, and this one is going to be nugget. And there's random vitamelange on the floor. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Nugget stacked to 50, right? Yeah. It's not going to be so insanely fast as to make trains look like a bad idea. Nope, we're fine. I had like a month dropping close to freezing, but we're back to comfortably cold where you definitely need a scarf. But you don't have to worry about frostbite. Oh my goodness. Don't forget the input station. Indeed. I won't be using vanilla scheduled trains for this. Uh, so we're just going to ask for Vitamelange. You know, normally I put this over here. Vitamelange stacks to 20. 20, 100 is one train load. Uh, we can fit significantly more than that. Uh, we can fit like six train loads, not counting what's in the delivery cannon chest. So, 1,200? 12, uh, 12,000? 
and LTN should somewhat balance that for us. I'd definitely like to have a good backlog of this just in case something goes wrong. And then... Vit... Vit requester... Outcomes... Nugget, stone, and wood. And that's it. How fast are we going to need the Vitamelange? It stacks to 20. Uh, only 48 per second. Two and a half stacks, so... Uh, one train every 41.67 seconds. Relatively fast, but not disastrous. Auto save. Alright, station name, we did this one already. Uh, this is already stone, and we changed this one to wood. I think that's it. I think... I think we solved it. Have you checked the output belt speed? Good question. Uh, output is 126.7 something per second, uh, which is, suffice to say, more than three belts. Or is it more than two belts? Uh, it's almost three belts, if we're doing blue belts. So I could do a couple of purples here. Input station train limit is zero. Rude. There we go. Uh, is the shape of the belt going to be a problem here? Let's see. 63 plus 6 plus 3. I don't think so. Less 70 per second. That is significantly less than 90 per second. And for stone and wood... Uh, those are obviously pretty slow. Cool. I haven't filtered this yet. This one, that is. Bonk. Empty all of this. Surprisingly slowly for super inserters. There we go. And I think that's our build. Let's get it done so it can get started while we work on the next one. Uh, so this is Nugget. Not even going to call it Vitamelange Nugget, because I'm pretty sure there's nothing else called Nugget in SEK2. But I could be wrong. Alright, that looks good. I don't think I've given the... Uh, construction train purple belts yet. I'm kind of putting it off because too many damn different things to stack. Um, I don't want to put Vitamelange in metals, but maybe I should rename this. Uh... Some kind of production chains. 
with chains with an S, apparently. Okay. And then... If I build that right next door, I could actually just belt the Vidamelange down and skip the train deliveries this time. Pro work solved. Rename metals to resources. That's not very specific. Then again, my name wasn't exactly an improvement. Gonna need this to move. Uh, where am I? Alright. Can we fit... Have I already requested purple belt here? I don't think so. No. I guess I could stop carrying red belt. And 50 of these. Uh, and then we need that, this one over here, to reflect those changes. Where did I put the request for prods? There it is, I guess. I should really maybe just start using the superior inserters only, if only to not carry as many different types. Anyway. Should be a train on its way. Fantastic. I even managed to get rid of the request for extra prod modules in time. Apparently I still haven't gotten this to work right. I'm really not sure what's so complicated about... Oh, it does work, kind of. Okay, never mind, it's perfect. Ignore everything I just said. Use superiors to keep the immersium flowing? Indeed. It's hardly a permanent solution. Uh, but that is one function of making purple belts. Let's grab our construction train just as soon as it's got... Oh, we're taking these old red belts out one at a time. Uh, might make a little exception to the stack size rule here. Actually, this is all the more reason that this should be a superior inserter. Because it actually swings faster as well. Anyway. Train is once again asking for wide beacons. I think I have a bunch of them on me. Not that many. Let's park it down here. Wait for inactivity. Just want to make sure that it doesn't leave before we're ready. Wow, that was fast. And that lines up a little bit unfortunately, but I think I see a good way that we can make this work. Very convenient, actually. Cool, cool, cool. There's our purple belt. And... Like I said, I think I'll make a little exception here. Even though I like to build things all modular-like, um, we'll just have the belts flow straight through here. How much VIT are we making? 50.668 per second. And... We're capable of consuming what? I 
many is this? 24 times this. Uh, only 48 per second. Hmm. Well, if I scale this up, I'll definitely want trains taking from here as well. But for now, this is fine. That actually fits quite well. There's our first nuggets, or are about to be our first nuggets. Fantastic. And bloody tastic. And I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with that wood. What? There's like at least a couple of things that we can do that's surprising with wood. We do need it for basic tech cards, but I don't think we're using basic tech cards anymore. Um, we can use it... Oh, that's how we make it. Uh, we need it for coke. I have got this set up as a higher priority pickup for wood. So, if there's enough demand for it, we don't need to worry. Unknown key, entity, name, blueprint... Trees, dead, dry, hairy tree. We have a hundred and ninety recipes because of that mod. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, here we go. First aid kit. Don't really care about that. Greenhouse. Don't really care. Life support canister. Shotgun. Uh, I know we can use it to make bio sludge. I'm just wondering if there's anything else. That's not even necessarily a great sink because bio sludge we can also end up with too much of. But at least with K2, we can just vent the bio sludge uh, if it really gets desperate. Lucky seven. Lucky Seven, Asandanima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Turn it into bio sludge, indeed. Uh, I think I saw you before, Fat Boy. What was that? Yeah, yeah, I did. SE.6, what tech are Spidertrons behind? Uh, it's actually bio one. Sorry, I missed that earlier. I'm pretty sure it's just bio one. Med pack, bio sludge. Electronic circuit. Now there's a thought. I'm pretty sure the electronic circuits we're making en masse are made with stone. Yeah, so we could definitely sync them into electronic circuits. Obviously, electronic circuits um, can get consumed rather quickly when things are moving. Doop doop, fantastic. Thanks for answering. Forgot the question myself, indeed. Don't mind me just rapidly scrolling, doubting my own short term memory, or short ish term memory. Okay, so this is Vitamalange Nugget, and this is Vitamalange Core Fragment. And what do we do with Nuggets? It's anyone's guess. How many... I think we need, like, Spice before we can do anything up here, right? Yeah. And, and I think we might actually need extract. Yep, just to get bio one, we need extract as well. 
Okay. Back to the drawing board, quite literally. Uh, before I tear this down, I don't suppose we're going to use the exact same shape again. I seriously doubt it. Oh, look, another build where I want to have advanced chemical plants, but I need to build this before I can get advanced chemical plants. Cool, cool, cool. Also, a diagonal rail southwest of Nugget needs some TLC. Uh, apparently. Did, did our train leave? It must have. Alright, that's fine. Um, so I'm very tempted to set up... Well, not tempted, I'm going to. Set up a little... Crappy temporary build here. Uh, I'm looking for chemical plants. What's this? Advanced steam turbine. Should probably actually look at these. Fusion reactor? Uh, that sounds kind of interesting, actually. Max consumption, 500 megawatts. So it's twice as strong as a nuclear reactor. Significantly bigger. Who knows if it gets a neighbor bonus. I mean, we could find out pretty damn easily. Let's see. Fusion reactor. It needs DT fuel cell and water, and out comes some steam at 975 degrees. We could definitely make use of that. Oh, I suppose we have to. So this doesn't produce power directly. And DT fuel cell. Uh, and then? Apparently it needs electricity to get started. Max consumption 500 megawatts, min consumption 16 megawatts. I thought the consumption was talking about how much fuel it would eat. Uh, but it's not, uh, unlike a nuclear reactor, it's flashing at me. Complaining that it doesn't have a connection to electricity. Got to spend energy to make energy, indeed. Uh, I believe we can use... Is it regular steam turbines or only condenser turbines that can take advantage of the almost a thousand degree steam? Regular steam turbines only go to 415. I don't think they do the same thing as condensers, whereby... If the steam is hotter, it consumes it more efficiently. Like real fusion only emits heat, indeed. Yeah, I believe... Um, well, let's check. I'm pretty sure... Let's give it some electricity as well. I'm pretty sure this thing can't consume... Oh! It's actually taken in steam. Interesting. And if we cut this off... Hmm. Okay. I think it's time for a little experiment. If we give this a bunch of steam at 975 degrees, exactly 100 of it, normally it would consume 50 per second. 
uh, if it implicitly does the same thing as the condenser turbine, where it'll consume it slower, then it should take more than a couple of seconds to consume this steam. Uh, we're going to need to give it some, some power consumers here. About... What are you capable of supplying? 10 megawatt. How do I burn 10 megawatt? I could use an infinity accumulator, but I find them to be a little bit not behaving the way you would think when we try to do this. But let's find out. And it's gone. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the steam turbine gets any extra efficiency out of the extra hot steam. So we have to use condenser turbines if we're not going to waste the majority of the energy that comes out of... Holy crap! 74,000 just sitting in the output? Try 9? Nine? 9 what? Albion line? Good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Um, weren't we trying to vitamelange? Because you're pulling all you make. Oh, as in like 9 megawatt? The thing is though, if this is looking for 415 degree steam, uh, and we're more than doubling the temperature, and it should take two seconds to consume this normally. It should last at least, like, a bit more than four seconds. That is definitely not four seconds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was two seconds. Anyway, oh, we've actually finished all our research. Uh, what should I research right now? I could do portable fusion reactor, but for reasons I've gone into, I'm not that excited about it. Like, we've already got basically plentiful power for power armor, unless we want to do lasers, in which case we have, like, no power. Because K2 personal lasers are like 10 times thirstier than they should be, honestly. I wonder what the difference is here. Immersite night vision. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, I wanted some chemical plants. The train should have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just bring you over here. And wait indefinitely. Here it comes. And we want... Heavy water tritium. Okay. Uh, I think it was Vitamelange Bloom. It's literally the only thing we can do with nuggets, right? Bit of melange bloom or bio sludge, which I don't think we'll be doing the bio sludge. All right. So we need sand and water. That's actually kind of a pain. Even to toss together a temporary build here. Uh, should I make a train stop for the temporary crap? I don't want to make it, like, part of the block. I want it to be easy to remove. Alright. Logistic train stop. 
water. And sand. Looks good. Request a Uh, whatever. One train load, why not? It won't be that much of a pain to remove later on. Here comes our train. Might as well make that neat. And then maybe even a beacon? For a crappy temp build, we're putting in a lot of throughput, I suppose. Uh, is the train having trouble getting here? No path. How is it no path? Oh, I see. That's why I usually don't do it that way. Why is construction? Here we go. Train should be on the way now. Don't get run over. Let's get some prods in here, because why not? That's still negative 80%. Negative 60, that's fine. Um, no, god damn it. God damn it. taking a while to unload because it's stack size 200. Two solids, one fluid in, one solid, presumably, out. Uh, we need the nuggets as well. Let's just steal them from here. Why not? with our super long underground belt. Just earned a free Saturday. Sister said it too cold to go furniture shopping. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Uh, blue belt up here. Actually not like that. This is going to be the sketchiest rapid-fire build I've done in a while. How do I not have any uh, loaders for blue belts? How fast are these individually? Pretty slow. Let's do the pipes first. Oh. How about we just do it like this? Super lazy mode. Um, inserters. Right where I was going to do the pipes. And connect water. I said connect water. Did we not get the water? We did. Uh, and over here as well. Seafer Cat, thank you very much for the raid. 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Oh, hey, Osoro. Good to see you again. Veldak. Solburn. Good to see you again also. Professional Dave. Welcome, welcome. Did I miss anyone? No, I think we're good. Welcome on in. Alright, so... We need output, obviously. And I guess... I guess I'll throw it into the rail network. Um, let me just check something. Loom... I doubt we're going to use this on the ground, right? Oh, yes we are. Can I make advanced furnaces yet? I probably have been able to make them for a while. Yeah. And don't tell me we can do more prod modules in advanced furnaces. That tempts me to redo so many builds if that's the case. I'm scared. Five prods. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure industrial furnaces also have five prod modules. Okay. Crisis averted. I mean, we'll probably want to upgrade to these eventually, just like with uh, advanced assembly machines. But... For now... Not that stressed about it. Redesign them all? Oh no. I noticed it as well about a month ago. I think that C for Calidus works. How much faster? Let's see. Double. They're obviously bigger machines, but they are double the speed. Hmm. Well, I think I definitely want to do... I find it kind of ironic I've got these advanced furnaces before the advanced chemical plants that we're working towards. Do I have everything I need? Let's just throw the autocrafter at it. Uh, I suspect I have everything I need to make advanced furnaces. It'll take up to 30 seconds for that to kick in. T-Hacks recently unlocked energy beaming. That emote's going to be very handy, indeed. Maybe I should make an energy beam emote. Yeah, that sounds useful. Factorino refactoring creeping in? Yeah. You could spend like a year refactoring as you go with this mod set. Hurry up, autosave. I want to see if we've got everything we need already. Um, I'm pretty sure energy control units... Uh, I did an actual build for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might be requesting them from the mall... Uh, from the rail network up here already. I don't think we are. I should probably remove that one machine. Need more combinators up here anyway. Alright. Uh, we do indeed have everything we need to make advanced furnaces. I didn't even have to make any adjustments. Fantastic. Well, that makes it a lot easier. Maybe future builds we should just have advanced for... Uh, oh. Oh no. It's fine. Pretend you didn't see that. For now. Uh, but yeah, do I want to actually throw this into the rail network? Probably. Even if this is going to be our temp build. Um, give me that damn rail.
even if it's gonna be temporary. Uh, I think I would prefer... if it's compatible with the rail system. That's future T-Hacks' problem? Oh no. See what? I didn't see anything? Exactly. Alright, we need to output this stuff. How fast are they individually? Super slow, I think. 1.73 per second. Oops. And why are we bonking? Oh, that's... damn. I keep, I forgot how far blue belts reach because I played with purple belts for a minute. Just testing? Okay. Test successful. Uh, I'll probably just limit that. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And use a chest in between. Indeed it is. Overconfidence is very sneaky. Oh no, I got it in my inventory. Yucky. Why are these... Not... Oh, that's why. That's probably why. Pick up station... Uh, hello? Oh, my personal robo. No, I was going to say, uh, I thought that my personal bots weren't doing this because the train was in range. Even though they were switched off, that would have been the reason. Don't care about that ratio, but it's probably fine. 22.4 Vitamelange nuggets per second. I actually made the belt just long enough. Okay. Well, not long enough, you know what I mean. Uh, what has... What's... What's Todd... What is? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so Vitamelange... Bloom? Uh... And then what do we do with Bloom? Does that go upstairs yet? I'm pretty sure Nuggets have no reason to go upstairs. Yeah, unless we want to turn it into Bio Sludge directly. And same for regular Vitamelange. Even worse. And I'm pretty sure Vitamelange Bloom... Uh, there's nothing left to do on the ground, right? I stand corrected and reminded why we were looking at advanced furnaces. Okay, then. Also, I discussed this a bit before, but methane gas is going to be a little bit of a problem. We can also turn it into crude oil, but that seems... Wait. What? Why would we ever do this? Four processed fuel, four vitamelange bloom, one vitalic reagent, 40 petroleum, makes 20 crude oil and a little bit of wood, and some coal? I don't know. Even if you had a lot of prod modules to profit from that, that seems unnecessary. That's uh, a recipe, indeed. It's problems, just different solutions, indeed. Emu Bob, nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is faster than I thought it would be. We're almost halfway to a train load already. Um... Okay, so this is not going upstairs. Uh, 
let's do our next two steps on the drawing board. So we've got nuggets now. I might steal from myself a little bit here. Because we did a build or two recently with the advanced chemical plants. Uh, and I don't think the layout is going to change all that much. Let's see. Let us see. Uh, Vitamalange blue. There we go. Water in, sand, and nugget in, bloom out. I don't think it's going to be as super fast as beads were, but that's our basic layout. Uh, damn, 96 sand and 192 <laughs> nuggets in. Um, okay. That's, that's a little faster than I th thought it would be. We can maybe, uh, at least at first, not have as many machines for this build. Probably. If we're going to do half belts, uh, even if they're purple... Even if they are purple, we're looking at 45 items per second each. That's not even close. It's actually more than a purple belt of Vitamelange Nuggets. It'll slow down when we have higher tier prods, but then again, we could always put in higher tier everything else. Did the underneathies mod also change space underground? I don't think so. Because the underneathies... Uh, you can see where underneathies stops being aware of these different underground belts. Um, should I just scale it back to a half belt? Nah. Let's go... Like, 90, how about 80, bit of melange nugget per second. I hate how it always looks like the belts are going backward with purple, though. Assuming we can fit this. We only need one type of fluid coming in, so get rid of that mess. Can actually be symmetrical. How fast is the output? Uh, 105 per second. I could just limit it to one belt. Uh, it's fine. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have input and input. Uh, one, two... Oh, we've got five. Well, that's not going to line up all symmetrical-like. Whatever. Just found space trains can be used on the ground. Only 500 hours of K2SE. <laughs> nice, nice. Got there eventually. And then... This can go over here. Don't forget the drop-offs. Uh, and I'm 
realizing we'll need this to reach across. Actually, no, there's only one fluid that we're dropping off. We don't need to check which fluid we're picking up. Alright, so the high throughput thing is Vitamelange Nugget. And the other thing is Sand. Nugget. Sand. Fantastic. Maybe I should have just designed this first and then... Then maybe it wouldn't have been as difficult to squeeze in the old chemical plants. Nah. Schroding his belts? They change direction by the way you look at them, indeed. Focus on the outside, they go backwards. Focus on the inside, they go forwards. I'm actually looking at the very middle of them and they're very smoothly going backwards. What about vertically? Is it different? Oh god. Oh, that's uncomfortably hypnotic. Got to redo the belts for the drop off on the left. Drop off on the left. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, and we've actually got an awkward... 52 per second. Whatever. Close enough is good enough here. Um, we'll just do the first three outputting to the front, and these two outputting... Well... To the outside, rather. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget the output station. I'm feeling very lazy right now, but I should finish it. Uh, wires go here. Standard pickup. No fluid. And this is for bloom. I might just leave it at that. Uh, and this is requesting what exactly? Sand, nugget, water. How fast does it go through water? 1.6k per second, that's kind of fast. Let's bump this up to like... 180. So the train's scheduled a little bit earlier. Nugget is 100, uh, that's a thousand. 100 stacks. Uh, how about times three? Because it's going to be rather fast. And three stack, uh, three train loads of sand, perhaps. Sand isn't going to be as much of a problem. Let's just do two stacks. Uh, two train loads, rather. 200, 100, times 2. Seems good. Nugget, sand, and water. Requester. Uh, goes into advanced chemical plant. And out comes bloom. At least there's no side outputs. Uh, considering how fast this is going to be, I think we should have 
Splitto. And I don't really see the need to limit this. I don't understand anything, but it's still fun watching. I know that feeling. Might even be Twitch FPS messing with us. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've noticed, like, watching people play the same games I play uh, on Twitch, that Twitch kind of smooths things out. Um, it kind of looks nicer, although you wouldn't necessarily want it while you're playing. But it, I think that whatever it is would definitely mess with... Oh, that's trippy. Uh, it would definitely mess with the super fast purple belts. Okay, uh, let's test it real quick. We need water. And like one physical input, I think it was. No sand as well. Uh, in which case, I sh... Whoops. Whatever. In which case, I should be doing the old set filters blacklist. Just so it doesn't overfill either one. And that looks like it's working. Not too complicated. T Hex is the master of chat, has no clue, but it is comfortable. I don't leave. Is that so? Just watch me play other games. I have no idea what I'm doing there. Well, I kind of know what I'm doing in Terraria, I guess. I, th I think aesthetically I might like this a little bit further up. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. Makes literally no difference in terms of anything. Um, like, technically. Uh, yeah, that'll be our bloom build once we actually have the advanced chemical plants. And then... Uh, let's just call it bloom. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else called bloom. Cheat items out. 86.25.1. And snap to grid looks good. Rotation looks good. Let's put it in uh, with the other Vitamalan stuff. And finally, it's time to do something with the bloom. Uh, which is to say we're going to shove it into a bunch of advanced furnaces, I believe. In order to make spice. Oh, and it also makes extracts. This is so different and more complicated than last time. Let me just double check that's the only thing to do with Bloom directly. Uh, unless we wanted to, to make all wood and crude oil out of this complicated and expensive stuff. Alright. Prod modules go. Oh, did I not put... I did have prods in that last build, didn't I? Surely. Yeah, we did. 40... 4... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, prod modules go burr. Wide area beacon goes about here. As many efficiencies as it takes to get it to minimum power consumption, more or less. Depending on where it settles. And then a few speed modules. Plus 10%. How about minus 80? That'll do. 
Don't forget to hydrate in your non-AC cooled room, indeed. I should probably grab some more in just a little while. Alright, so how many do we fit? I think it's going to be the same size as advanced chemical plants, right? Yeah, it's exactly the same size, although the fluid IO might look a bit different. Uh, do we have fluid in and out on any of the... There we go. Advanced chemical plant looks a bit different, obviously. Okay. But supposing we squeeze as many of... Well, not as many as we could possibly fit, but just as many as we can easily fit. How fast would this be? Not very fast at all. 115 bloom per second, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, maybe I should be? If we use purple belts, that's like one belt each side, no problem. Actually, a green belt on each side would be fine. Do you avoid putting two recipes in one rail block? I prefer to, yes. I'm compulsively combining the recipes usually, but not sure the ratio fits. Uh, I did a few where I combined, where I did multiple recipes in one block. And then when I go to upgrade them, I'm sad because the ratios get different. Uh, but sometimes you really don't want to be moving certain items by train if you can help it, especially when they stack to five and have high throughput. That's that's definitely not train material. That is belt material, if it can be helped at all. Effectively, belts arbitrarily have a much much higher, like, capacity and throughput by comparison for things that have smaller stack sizes. Oshaza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Curix, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome also. Five. I even hate the stacks of ten. Yeah. The stacks of ten aren't so, so bad. Especially since we picked them up right next to the space elevator. Um, but five is just... That's just rude. If you're making modular train builds like this. Have you ever streamed Dyson Sphere program? I have, actually. Uh, and now that I... I've been reminded of it a minute ago, but I'm definitely feeling the need to get some water. Um, rather than lose my voice soon, I think I'll take a short break here, um, but we'll be plowing through Vidomelange as quickly as we can, as soon as we get there. Alright, let's throw up some words on stream, and once again, I'd forgotten that it's been slow lately, it seems to be fine right now though actually. Or is it? Do some... Are we done with our construction train here? Probably. Uh, we'll do some LTN screen saver. Fantastic. And... Words is well and truly crying today. Alright then. Might just take another 30 seconds or something. Actually, I don't desperately need a break so much as I just need to drink some water. If it doesn't load soon, uh, we'll just keep going for now. But I will grab some water first.
and we're back. I think I'll keep that for later. The words on stream thing. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, so once we've got our bloom, we're going to need two solids in, two solids out, and uh, uh, methane gas. There's no V in methane gas. Last time I checked. And we'll have pickup station number one down here. Oops. Pickup station number two up here. I think that's the middle. Yeah. Move this over a bit. I, I want it to line up more mostly with uh, where this is going to be. How fast is this outputting? Oh, barely any extract. So it's going to be kind of like, there's, there's going to be like a coverex-ish process, isn't there? I don't think there is a gas it won't burn. Can you just burn the methane? Yes. Um, but I actually want to keep it because... Because, because, because we need it for lattice pressure vessels. Uh, we can turn it into crude oil if we really want to, at the cost of a little bit of bio sludge. I doubt if I'll be doing that. Uh, we actually need it for naquium ingots. Self-healing gel, I can't even remember what that actually goes into. Uh, and we need it for nutrient gel. Oh, that's... No, no, no. That was one of the recipes for nutrient gel. Which I decided not to use, I think. We'll see. Depends on how much uh, methane we get out of this. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot compared to our needs. Um, but suffice to say... Um, let's just do it like this. It's going to be super slow, right? Or methane per second. Uh, and we're picking up 60k when a train comes. So I don't think we have to worry about uh, too much about having a fast pickup. Uh, also, Vitamalange Extract we'll put at the same station. 0 0.0806 per second. And it stacks to 50, I presume. It stacks to 200. It is going to take a very long time. Uh, Vitamalange Extract, stack size 200. 0 0.0806. 200 over that. It's going to be 2,481 seconds. 41.36 uh, hours, right? No, what am I saying? Uh, why don't... Hello, what did I just press? F12, okay. No, that's 41.36 minutes, isn't it? That doesn't sound right. How much does this give us per hour? Oh, wait, that's how much... It, that That's 41.36 minutes for one stack. Normally, when I'm plugging something in here, I'm figuring out how long it takes to get a train load. Uh, this is how many seconds it takes to get a train load. Or minutes, rather. And that's just under 69 hours. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 290 per hour, that sounds right. Do we have other ways to make extract? Or, like, is this the only way to get it started and we have to do some kind of coverex process? Because if that's the case, I don't want to wait for a train load. I, you know, 
it's a long playthrough going through space exploration, but um, I'm not actually so patient that I want to wait 69 hours uh, for our first trainload of Vitamelange extract. You'll need a lot of this. There'll be other things to craft from extract, no doubt. All right, so how do we make it? Uh, spice plus extract makes less spice and more extract and light oil. And is anyone shocked? We need an advanced chemical plant to do the build that I want to do here. The advanced chemical plant is hidden behind so many things that we want to use the advanced chemical plant on. I hate it. This is this is cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, so I might just run... I don't know. I'll design this with advanced chemical plants in mind. And even though it hasn't worked before... Uh, I'll try... I'll try, like, temporarily reshaping it so that we can just plug in some regular chemical plants. Cruel and unusual punishment, yay. Good timing, indeed. Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sounds like a Factorio tech tree to me. Maybe restrict the size of the train wagons for that product so it gets delivered sooner. Uh, if I did one cargo wagon and used the smaller cargo wagons instead of the better ones that we've got, it would take, uh, let's see, per second. 0 0.0806, 200 times 40 divided by that, right? Uh, 99,255 seconds, 1,654 minutes, uh, 27.57 hours, right? 28 hours, let's call it, to fill up a small cargo wagon. So that's still a little bit longer than I'd like to wait. Uh, it's, this is probably the build where we do want to have a lot of stuff, because... Oh. Well, that's faster than I thought it would be already. Net consumes 51.2 spice per second. Uh, this only makes 32. That's kind of unfortunate. So much for a nice, neat build. And that's with a ton of bloom coming in. Hmm. What if we... What if... What if we did something totally different? Like, I don't think I've got room to quite do what I had in mind, but we'll see. I might need some more power poles for this one. Uh, the wires aren't going to behave. That's better. Okay, so my thought was something along the lines of... 
I don't think this is going to work very well one-to-one. -one, but just for starters, to see what it would look like. That's actually barely negative on uh, Vitamelange Spice. That's almost, like, good enough one-to-one, -one, actually. If we have higher tier prods, does it go more in favor of being positive for Vitamelange Spice? It do. Okay. I kind of like where this is going. I, I kind of like it a lot, actually. Uh, this is tentatively not going to be here. So, should we just direct insert, or...? Oh, possibly? Um, yeah, I think... I think we probably should. 0 0.0027 extract per second. Well, this will be net positive extract anyway. The only solids input for this comes directly from this. And there's like nowhere else that spice would come from. Right? Except for when we... Bring in the Vitam Lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is... Probably what we're gonna do. So it's like one per second. We really don't need any super fast inserters for this. And then I could do the methane output down the middle. Might be a little tidier. What? Like that. I won't worry about mirroring it just yet. Uh, and then we've obviously got light oil output. Something like this. So what's our output from this whole place? Light oil... Vitamelange and Vitamelange extract and methane gas. That sounds like two solids, two fluids to me. Which, obviously, the neatest way to do that would be down the middle. Signals can go here. Actually, like where this is going, and I love that it's all going to fit under one beacon. I'm not overly concerned about the excess space we're going to have. Then again, well, we'll see what it looks like after I've actually built it. Maybe it wouldn't be too difficult to squeeze two of them in here, or build twenty-eight of them, and it'll be one hour. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but then if we're talking about like using rail blocks and not budging it, um, we'd still be waiting that many hours for any one station to get a pickup, right? Okay. Uh, is there a universe where... Uh, I need these to have swap chests. One swap chest each. And then... And then what? Is there a universe where I do the... Vitamelange spice output here? I don't think it's possible. 
It takes 30 in and 20 comes out. Yeah, no, I don't think that's how that works. Um, so I probably want to do some kind of balancing between the two for output. Which means I'll probably want to somehow read both of these with one wire if we're going to limit the number of combinators that we need. Can I do that by like swapping wire colors here or something? If we have a red wire here, and the trouble with this is we can't see that there's two wire colors. Oh, no, we can totally do that. Just use the usual colors. We've got red wire here, red wire here, and then just connect all of that with red wire. Uh, and that way on the red wire we know how much we've got for each. And I just need some kind of arbitrary connection for that wire as well. Maybe this would look less tacky. I kind of like that better. Okay. And I'll just confirm there is red wire there. So... Where are we going to put the fluid outputs? How much light oil do we get? Almost nothing. A little bit more than the methane. Either way, these will have to be high priority pickups. Uh, because if we get full on methane or light oil, then everything else is going to stop. Oops. Go here. And how about we do light and extract on this side? Don't really flip this. I'm pretty sure I can't flip it. No. Oh, this is one of those machines where it's hard to see where it lines up because of the perspective. Uh, that looks to be correct. Um, and then over here. Okay. So methane would just connect like this. Why does... Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's right. And like this. Or I could just connect it, like, up here. That might be a bit tidier looking. Maybe. Yeah, that's... I kind of like that better. Uh, and for light oil, we could maybe do something not the same, actually. Could connect it down here, I suppose. Or we could just put it up one... Oh, that's still not far enough. Never mind. Uh, we could just put it one tile further up here and do the same little wanna so far so good you know even if i could fit more machines in here considering we're gonna need 102 bloom per second 
maybe I'd rather just have more rail blocks. Excuse me. Yeah, no, I don't think I can really squeeze it into double this anyway. That seems fine for now. Uh, and then I just have to balance the output of spice and everything nice. So we can do like 34.37 extract per second if we're going all in on that. Um, 29 spice per se. Weirdly enough, we'd make... Well, this is ignoring the fact that we'd be net negative slightly on the spice. Yeah, I think we'd actually make... Oh, this is the net rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we make about the same spice or extract if we go all in on one or the other. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's my delivery cannon chests? There we go. So we're going to have... Well, first we need some swap chest uh, witchcraft. And then we just say... You know what? I kind of want these to be... If I do a consistent pattern, we're going to have to have like a filter inserter that takes extract only when extract is greater than X. It only takes one extract to start the recipe, so we really just need to make sure there's literally one extract still in this chest. And we don't want to take any spice, right? I don't think we can, with long arms, squeeze these together in a way that would be nice. Like, I could do them in pairs. That might be a bit better. Rather than going inserter, then belt, then chest. And we'd have to do something a little bit different. With the pipe. I can just put this nice and close. We really don't need a super fast inserter for this either. Um, let's make it a stack inserter though. Actually, how much is this? 17 per second. Yeah, no, that should be fine. You know what, What? whatever, let's not even make it a, a question. Superior filter, uh, extract, and condition is, since the stack size is 12, extract is greater than 12. And that'll leave at least one extract in here, so that this machine can keep looping. And then, if we do it that way... Maybe like this? And then do it down here. And maybe like this. And then down there. I could put this here or here. It doesn't actually matter. But we will have to have a belt for this part. It looks kind of tacky. What about a sushi belt?
That's super gratuitous. Super, super gratuitous. I'm so tempted. Let's see what it would look like. I'll just grab this unless, and until, uh, uh, just in case we want to go back to it. But if we do a little circle, so I kind of want this back. I think this looks better. Okay. We're going to need a splitter to take off... Well, we need to only take off extract if there's a certain amount of it. That's not difficult, though, I don't think. This is supposed to go down here. If we just... Oh, wait. Filters. Uh, we could just take off it with an inserter. Something like... Salford Cell, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? I saw you playing something. Something a little different. In, uh, Industries of Titan? Oh, as in build stuff on that moon? That sounds cool. Core NXT? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm loving it? Fantastic. Alright. Uh, speaking of things we love, we love sushi belts. Ionic, welcome, welcome. Welcome in Raiders. Uh, I think I want to make sure... Well... We could probably be indiscriminate about which sides of the belts we put things on. If if we fix it up at the end, so like extract on this side, and then and then and then and then, uh, how do we decide when to take extract off? Probably when there's just some critical mass of extract on the belt. Or better yet, what if I just make it go through a chest? We don't even... we could even... Uh, have it happen at this little corner here. That's gonna look a bit hacky though, I think. I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. Uh, I think a double chest would be a lot neater for this, actually. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we could even use a belt. I'll just take it from there. Put it in here. It's a little bit colony builder, city builder, a bit of factory design, a bit of tower defense. That does sound very interesting. Is it the bugs again? What are we tower defending against? Meteors? Alright, so the idea here is going to be... Uh, extract. I'm not overly concerned about the, like, eight extract that's going to get stuck here. Although I guess it might slow down the thing getting started. Uh, if extract is greater than... I don't know, 50... Some fairly small number. We actually just need like one, two, three, four, five, six. Multiply it multiply it by like three or four. 
Because it only needs one extract to start the loop again per machine. And then the machine will be greedy and take extra. So I think if there's 25 in here, we're probably safe to take some. And then... We don't even need any filters or smarts or anything on the belt over here, I don't think. Pretty sure. Let's try it. We're going to need... That should be an unloader. We're going to need some test inputs. Uh, I forgot this is going to need a split belt or something. What are we looking for? 51.2 bloom per second, but barely any vitamelange blocks. It's a little... Oh, you might want to filter the output of that double chest. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, we do need a filter inside of here. Well, that's just going to make it more precise. Superior filter inserter, extract only, whoops, whitelist, extract, and if ex, what, 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 no, bad, uh, if extract is greater than, let's say 25 plus 12, let's just call it 40, if extract is greater than 40, we can take 12 out of this chest and put it down here. I'm also going to have some logic here that says if we've got uh, less spice than extract, then we're going to stop this belt. Spice greater than or equal to extract. Uh, and we'll have the opposite condition to put the spice in here. And before I forget, tell LTN about our fluids. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can filter a loader as well. How did I forget that? Good point. Thank you. Uh, extract only. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to block this belt and... Extract has to be greater than, like, I think I said 25. Catch Morpheus. Okay, uh, I really want to get to testing some of this. Do I need to build the other half first? I don't think I really need to build the other half of it to test the... Um, wait, there's not as much room in here as I thought. I can just move it over a bit. Move it over one tile. Move this over one tile. Move this over one tile. And this one. Easy enough. Because uh, I need a fast belt of... What is it called? Bloom? Vitamelange Bloom. Going through here. How fast do these individually consume? 9.6 per second. I think a superior inserter can manage that pretty easily, actually. Uh, and we could probably just share one... one belt for... Vitamelange... Uh, not Vitamelange, uh, Vulcanite blocks for the drop-off. Let's do two different stations. Keep it simple. It's 
since we're only going to need a train load of Vulcanite blocks every... Uh... Three thousand nine, no, thirty-nine thousand and sixty-two seconds. Um, I'm not going to bother with the signals in the middle up here. I don't think that's entirely necessary. And. Overall, we're looking at 102. I really only need a green belt here, but I'm just skipping green belts. Just because why bother having one more different stack size? Uh, or different thing to stack. Yeah, 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 this should be fine. I think I'll just do it this way, actually. Splitter. Don't have to worry about any imbalancing shenanigans this way. And go. Fantastic. We also need volcanic blocks. And oh. uh, and I want to, that's actually kind of awkward. I wanted to do a loader like this way, but there's no room. Unless I make a little exception to my usual rule uh, with the constant combinator's positioning. Let's try that. First of all, let's see where the inserters are going to go. Oh. For some reason, I thought our long inserter could reach both of those. Well, it doesn't need to be a problem. What? And blue belt. Like so. Loader. Should have put this up here. And then... Like that. You can't hear anything from these machines. Game sound works. It seems like advanced furnaces are just silent. What about... Oh, the recipe's really, really slow. How long until... Oh, this could be a problem. If we get 10% Vitamelange extract... Uh, what if we don't get... This one's almost finished a recipe. Oh, I didn't realize I put prod sixes in here still. Uh, but what happens if we don't get any extract in here before the whole thing jams? I'm pretty sure that might actually happen 100% of the time. Because the when in Factorio you see like 10%, it's actually deterministic. Um, I don't know if it's averaging it out over like all these machines, or that one's working. If any of these are working on the side, they should all get each other going, probably is the other thing I was going to say. Almost certain jam? 
Certain jam. Delicious. Uh, so is it also certain to unjam? Maybe? I don't know if I like those odds. I mean, once it gets going, it'll never jam again, but like... You know? Where does this go? Here, I think? It gets fed from the loop after... Right, yes. Yes, yes, yes. As long as we get literally any extract out of the first 12 recipes, uh, and it says 10%, then the whole thing will work. But if we don't, we might have to give it a hand just once. The box at the end of the line will always be empty, one line in and one line out. Uh, the box at the end of the line is... what the... oh. I didn't anticipate that. I think we should do our rebalance at the box, as opposed to up here. Something like this. Uh, spice. And everything nice. Whoops. That doesn't look too bad. And then... It's already stopped because I haven't set this up yet. Alright, so how about... This, just like here, goes down here. And... Gonna do it quite like that. Red wire, like so. Seems good. Uh, and I'm realizing we need a way to like get the extract out from the middle anyway. Whoops. I can always make it wider. We've got tons of room to play with here. In fact, I think I'll just move these out, like, two tiles. Fantastic. Fantastic. We go. Thank you very much for the seven months with Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you. Appreciate you picking me for your Prime. Thank you so much. Looks like the output on the inserters is blocked with a full belt of extract. Uh, it's blocked because we're not detecting any spice over here. As we're comparing, we're saying uh, keep spice and extract in these outputs equal, basically. But I haven't quite finished the build yet. So I think what we'll do is... Just move these out a couple more tiles. Hopefully the pipes will still reach. Well, that one certainly won't. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, just aesthetically. But technically, it's not a big deal. Uh, I could just move it out one more tile if we do a little zigzag, maybe. Um, 
I need to make sure we don't take... I could move it a couple more tiles out and we could have like a... Kind of like a swap chest here. Well, not a swap chest, but... We could have a filtered output to not take extract further down. Instead of, like, blocking it at the very end of the belt. Yeah, I think that'll be... Convenient. We want to do spice only. Down this way. Move this out one more tile, and that actually solves the problem of this not lining up very well. Seems good. Makes it pretty easy, actually. Okay. So this goes here, this goes here. Let's do some undergrounds. So why not? And I need to do the same thing in the middle. Move this out, yet another tile. How about we just copy paste, flip this. That actually still lines up. Blue Lightning, thank you very much. Wait. Thank you very much for the 14 months. Much appreciated. Thank you. And a welcome, Uncle. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Much appreciated. Thank you, Blue Lightning. Okay. Uh, this needs to be updated. And then? Is that it? Pretty much? Possibly? Alright, we'll find out by replacing the whole thing. Um, I don't really want to delete the bulk rail loaders because they're a bit finicky. Um, don't think we have to worry about the fluids. Am I missing anything? Oh, I haven't done the inputs for this yet. That's... that's at least a minor detail. Alright. And we need to limit these two based on... What, what's the throughput maximum for spice? It's like 29. It's more than half a belt. Oh, that doesn't line up very well. I could make it go the other way, and then, yeah, I th think I like this better. So instead of down like this, it's going to go up like this. Oops. That's going to be pretty tidy. Does the blue belt really not reach that far? You're kidding, it's one off? Oh my lord. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check on the red wire that touches all four of these containers. Top right splitter. Thank you for all the factory streams. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we want to check all of these containers. And... Oh, 
looks a bit less tacky. All right, so we're going to have the opposite condition on this one. Uh, if Vitamelange spice is less than or equal to extract, let the spice flow. If extract is gr uh, if spice is greater than or equal to extract, let the extract flow. One off. Seems good? Question mark. Remove top right splitter. Oh yeah, we don't need this. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's void the whole thing. And start it over and see if it works. What the... Oh, it's in here. Fine, close enough. Alright. Also, what happened to the wires? That's not too bad. That's actually pretty neat. I like that. Probably better than what I had before, actually. Alright. Delete. Undo. And see what happens. Nothing but our original inputs. Uh, I forgot to put prod3s in here. Let's do that. And our very, very, very silent advanced furnaces get started. Uh, some of them are like halfway done. This one's almost finished. Out comes nothing but spice. And it looks like the inserters are able to take from the container with priority implicitly. That actually works very, very well. Um, yeah, it seems like these inserters basically have a higher priority than the loaders. Suits me just fine. I believe they should still round robin distribute items. Will you be able to get items through the chests, or will the loaders remove them? We just found out. Uh, but even if the loaders did have higher priority, uh, once it gets down here and we have a couple of Vitamelange Spice uh, in these containers, it's going to stop this belt until we get extract as well. Which we already have flowing. It's much faster on the right than the left so far. I think that's just owing to the randomness, uh, the 10% from the first recipe. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Factorio, when you see a percentage like that, um, it will actually even it out. Like, you will always get 10% over a large sample size. So now we're waiting to have enough uh, Vitamelange but You know what I didn't account for with the count of this? Is the amount of Vitamelange Spice that's going to be on the belt. Um, two things. The thing I was going to say already about that is this only needs to be set to like Vitamelange Extract is greater than one or two or something. But the other thing, um, surprisingly it's extract that we've got more of on this belt. I wonder if that's always going to happen or if it's a coincidence. Like if I swapped these filters around. Would it work out differently? I don't know. 
Well, I guess since it's net consuming spice and net making extract, it's probably always going to end up with extract... Uh, more extract on the belt, right? So we should probably have the extract on the side that the inserters are not trying to output to. As a general rule. I was about to go and make some sushi magic where... Uh, we basically force it to give us half of a belt of output. So what's happening here? Uh, that's facing the wrong way. What's happening here is we have a full belt coming in. Uh, we bottleneck this through just one piece of belt. We split it 50-50. 50% gets recycled and is input here as a priority. So this gets slowed down. Uh, and then we get the 50% output uh, on this belt. I was about to resort to that. But it looks like it's good enough to just put the Vitamlange Spice on the outside track as far as the inserters are concerned. Or I could have just, since it's K2, made them swap which lane they drop into. Um, but yeah, latest Factorio update now shows the filter with alt mode, quite handy indeed. I won't be updating for a while, though. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, I would say that's working. It was actually a pretty fun build. As impatient as I am to get through Vitamelange. Uh, through Bioscience, rather. Uh, this one was interesting. I like it. 10 out of 10. Would sort of pseudo Covrex Vitamelange spice into extract again. I just realized uh, this really does mimic Covrex because we've got mostly dark green stuff and a little bit of light green stuff goes in. Uh, a little bit less dark green stuff comes out and more light green stuff comes out. It, it is it is actually just cover X plus light oil coming out. 0.5 SE Vita was so much easier <laughs> indeed. Um, but yeah, I, I actually really like this build. Wouldn't have happened if I didn't have to deal with all this absolute mess. Alright, let's set up our stations. This one's going to be light, oil, and extract. High priority pickup. Because as slow as the light oil is, if it ever ends up... Com that is really slow. Uh, but if the light oil ever ends up completely sl uh, full, then we're not going to be getting any more extract. And same goes for the methane and the spice. Uh, and I almost forgot we're going to want to limit uh, each of these containers to one cargo wagon full because taking from the delivery cannon chest doesn't happen equally. So we can uh, we can load up 1.4 trainloads of stuff in these three containers. I think that's enough. I don't think I've ever used methane gas in my 0.5 SE run. Neither did I. What's it used for again? Uh, that has changed. I think. I didn't really look at methane much last time. There's a recipe to make nutrient gel with it. Uh, it's probably needed for self-sealing... Um, we need it for lattice pressure vessel. 
you can turn it into crude oil if you really want to, at the cost of like 10 bio sludge. Um, and we need it for Naquium. So yeah, we definitely need some methane. I hope I'm not going to need some storage for it. I hope I'm not going to need to go and mine it arbitrarily. Okay, that's definitely new. I think it was kind of meh before, indeed. Methane. Uh, what do we got? Provide stack threshold 100, provide threshold 60k for the fluids. Perfect, fantastic. Station name. Methane, wow, okay. I apologize profusely. Spice goes here, and also methane. Where is it? Up here. Uh, and our drop-off stations are very simple. We don't need no stinking fluids. Uh, we just need vitamelange bloom. Let's put it here, like I usually do. Vitamelange bloom. Fifty hundred times two. That's two train loads. Um, that's probably enough to keep it flowing. Considering we need a bit more than two stacks per second, it's probably going to be okay. And... Uh, Vulcanite block, we hardly need any. It's like stack size 200 and we consume less than 0.6 per second. So we're just going to go... Vulcanite block. This used to be really expensive, like, for where we were. 200, 100, plus 10%. Not even that, that's 2,000. Um, how long does it take to go through 2,000? Uh, 3,676 seconds, over an hour. We're going to summon a train when we've still got an hour left to get the Vulcanite blocks in there. That'll probably be fine. Alright, Vulcanite block requester. Uh, I'm just going to skip the part where I say what type of machines it is. We're just going to say we're making spice and extract here. What was the bunk for? Technically 22,000? Uh, yeah, so it's 2,000 above um, the 100 stack threshold. So basically when we're down to 2,000, we're going to bring 20,000. And we'll have, an, we'll have a whole hour to summon another train by the time we get down to 2,000. Alright, that looks fine. Um, this will be the same station name except... Blue. 2200, thought you misclicked. Nope, we're good. Uh, it's 200 times 100. Yeah, 20,000. Having the bigger... Um, Space cargo wagons with 50 stacks each has definitely made the math for these things a little easier. So is that our design? I think so. What am I missing, chat? There's always something. Right? Right? 2.5k, 3.3k, how did this get so far ahead? Hold on, what? 
wait, 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 and furthermore, wait. These two should be balanced. We've got 7k, 7k. Oh, it is balanced. 2.5k, 3.5k, 3.4k, 2.5. Oh, it's because I limited... It's because the stack sizes are different. I forgot. Uh, I don't know what you're missing, but I already claim to have seen it right away. Perfect. I don't want to have to use an arithmetic combinator to balance these in terms of stack sizes. Um... Is there a better way? Like, if I just allowed four trainloads of Vitam Lunch Spice to accumulate, that would solve the problem, except this doesn't balance necessarily. Event on the methane gas, maybe? It could be a long time till it gets used. Uh, it takes a very, very, very long time to accumulate. If it comes to that, I'll vent it. No, if it comes to that, I'll store it, because it's really quite hard to come by. In fact, I could just add some more storage, like, right here, actually. Easy peasy. In fact, no, that doesn't fit. That does not fit. But yeah, we could... We could add ludicrous storage here if we need to. Um, but how am I gonna... Do I really need to add a combinator to make this happen? I love me some combinators, but I also love keeping my combinator count low. Hmm. 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 I could set some arbitrary values, but how would I go about it? No, I want them to be balanced. Especially since we're able to produce like about the same amount of spice or extract depending on what we focus on. Oh, it's actually really, really fortunate that the, um, the inserters get priority here as well, because that's going to accumulate while that's blocked up. Maybe I should limit these chests. No, that's probably fine, actually. If we consume a bunch of Vitamalange extract and then we want more spice, it'll just flow through. Also, these chests can accumulate extract, and considering the stack size, uh, that's actually kind of awesome. In fact, because of the stack size, we've actually got more storage space for extract here than we've got storage space for spice here. Which I don't particularly mind. If I add, like, a arithmetic combinator... We don't have to read from these two bits of belt, so I think we can probably avoid some kind of... loop of doom. And we're just gonna... How about green wire up here? That 
Looks just as tacky. Whatever. No, I think we'll use the red for this. So we're going to say spice times four. But then how are we going to get the regular kind of extract? I would have to have another combinator for... If red wire input go here... And go to here. Oh, 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 I think I've got it. Okay, so red wire actually touches all of this. But then also, we take spice, we multiply it by three and add it to the count of spice that these two. Uh, bits of belt of reading. So on the red wire that touches all of these containers, we've got the actual count of extract and spice, which is 13k versus 7 at the moment. Um... I just realized that has to go both ways as well. Because the stack sizes are different. We would want... Uh, maybe I should just not limit spice going through or something. Prioritize one over the other. It might be easier. Because I'd have to do, like, a uh, read spice extract as if we've got a quarter of it over here, right? Which would be harder, because this is adding three times just on the green wire to these two. So this is the... These are the numbers that these two pieces of belt think there are. Another 21k extract. I mean spice. As opposed to 15 versus 7k. I don't think I have a way with an arithmetic combinator over here to leave this red wire connected to that and divide extract by four. What a mess. No, I don't like this. We're just going to hard prioritize one over the other, I think. And since extract is dependent on spice, uh, we'll probably just make spice wait for extract. We'll wait till there's a train load of uh, extract before we allow spice to go in here and it'll be as simple as that um 20,000 if extract is greater than 20,000 then allow the spice To flow. Why have we stopped? Because I stopped the inputs and this fast one ran out uh, much faster than Vulcanite blocks. So that'll give us like 30-ish extract per second. Almost 32. Uh, probably a bit less than that, actually, while we've got tier 3 prod modules, because uh, we're a little bit negative on extract. That should be fine. 
So now I kind of I kind of want to put super speed modules in just to test it um, a little bit faster. Let's copy this so I know what's in it later. It's actually just three speed modules. Super speed module go. I did do super speed, right? Yes. Uh, I don't think our little inserters can keep up with the super speed modules, actually. Yeah. Superior inserter can't keep up with... None of these can keep up. It's fine. But yeah, I think I think that'll probably be the final version. Except for the fact that there's these bits of pipe that this one does belong. That's fine. Alright, let's get back to finding out what's broken in our factory, shall we? You know what? I think I want a visible bit of belt here for the extract, just like we've got with the, uh, for the spice, rather, just like we've got with the extract. So we can see how much is coming through. And I'm pretty sure we can set this to, like, greater than one. Rick V, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, no, I, I think I will set it to, like, just slightly higher than that. Oh, let's blueprint. In before train station name or something. Maybe a piece of wire missing somewhere. Uh, I believe that's all the cheat items removed. 86251. It's our snap to grid extract and spice. Uh, spicy extract. Fantastic. Alright, next question is where do we build it? And can we squeeze in some regular chemical plants temporarily until we actually unlock these advanced chemical plants? With the 700,000 builds where advanced chemical plants would be nice before we unlock the advanced chemical plants. Um, so this is Nugget. Have I not built the next step yet? Oh, right. We need the advanced chemical plants. Of course. Of course. So I think... Uh, we'll probably put that here. We'll do the old just vertical line of builds again so it's very clear where things go and why let me get rid of this old mine over here fantastic it's actually been completely emptied perfect robo go fantastic and what about this one that one still has some stuff Does it have more than, like, two items left? Uh, actually, no. Let's go empty that as well. And this one also. Nice. Time to tidy up. Don't need to pick up trees or rocks right now. Implying there are trees on this planet. Uh, 
Uh, I don't need to cliff explode either. And we can tidy up all of this old mess. Perfect. Let's go get it. And while my bot's are doing that, it's placement time. Uh, let's see. Bloom is going to go here, I think. And extract, etc. Spicy extract is going to go down here. Let's get our construction train involved. Build all the rail out at least before we look at what's missing. And it's time for a few little lurches while the uh, rail signals get built. How's our Vitamelange doing? Um... Like, I'm guessing by now we've picked up enough of it from Moss Garden that it's super duper saturated. Oh yeah. Fantastic. The dispatch system doesn't necessarily send things where you want it to immediately, but it gets the job done. What are we short on? Not exactly short on barrel core fragments. Uh, could use a lot more Holmanite. Iridite seems to be doing okay. Is Holmanite actually slow, or is there a ship problem? I think there might be a ship problem. Uh-oh. Where are our ships? Inbound... Headed to Exorion. What's what's happening with Exorion? What? Uh. What? Why are we not? Oh. No, it's actually just slow. And it seems like we accidentally sent two ships to pick up from here at the same time. We need another train to come to this side. Okay. Um, I wish I knew why we were getting two ships at the same time sent to various outposts. But other than that, it all seems to be working. That's actually a pretty significant uh, problem, I think, because... Wait, what? Why are you... Why are you not landing? Target is Corsal Orbit. Uh, you probably shouldn't have a anchor target ID right now, other than the default one. Hmm. Um, that doesn't seem good. How did that happen? More importantly, how did it happen, like, one time out of hundreds? The ship was sent without having its uh, memory cell reset, I think. So it still had the uh, 
the adjusted target to left clamp ID. And therefore it wasn't landing at anchor using uh, spaceship left clamp one. So how long has that ship been stuck there? How many more ships do we have stuck randomly? I think the answer is zero. As long as we don't see any hanging in orbit around uh, an outpost, we know that's not happening, but that's alarming. Production error in your Chinese spaceship factory? Oh no. Decon train never gets to do its job, but decon train is for like higher volume stuff. Well, how about this? How about Decon Train can do this? Decon Train... Fuck. Uh, that's gonna be a little tricky, actually. Isn't the Decon Train too long for this? Well, we're gonna find out. I think it's going to need manual intervention to go back, or I could just tell it to deconstruct all the signals as it goes. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't automatically move until it had a path all the way back in. I might have to make it build rail. Where's our construction train? Please park where you can reach everything and see what you've got. I think I already gave it the advanced uh, furnaces. Did we give it the advanced furnaces? Well, now we still have the old ones. I think we do need the old electric furnaces for like two recipes maximum. Uh, I could have sworn I could have sworn I put a re Oh, that was purple belt? No, no, no. Yeah, I guess so. Never actually did update it to request advanced electric furnaces. Whoops. Uh, we did build a bunch of them in the mall, so bringing them in here is trivial. But we need to actually find room for them. in the construction uh, train. Also, we accidentally have some prod sixes uh, over here in the blueprint. Also, also, can we squeeze in some chemical plants in such a way that it's going to be easy to uh, replace them later. I think the answer is no. I think the answer is absolutely not. Well, it's, um, relatively upgradable, if you squint at it real hard. Wait. Oh, we need to move that belt as well. Oh no, indeed. How's UPS holding up compared to your first playthrough? Much better compared to first playthrough. Um, I mean, it hasn't been perfect already, but I think I'll just leave that extra stuff there so that it's very clear 
Um, what adjustments we need to make. when we get the advanced chemical plants. Oops. Alright. So... Same thing on this side. This part I can actually just... Nope, that's a lie. I cannot just copy paste flip it. Because this output belt goes in a different direction. It's fine. And that's what we'll pretend. Alright, uh, construction train. Needs some inventory space. I wish the uh, cargo cargo wagons had trash slots like the player. How do we have like damaged wood in here? How does that work? Taking up a different slot. Anyway, let's go back. Shmua. And Dehos, Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's see where we've got some room to squeeze in uh, some advanced chemical... Uh, advanced uh, furnaces, rather. Damaged wood is partly burned, I guess? Who knows? How about... Uh, how about this? See how our damaged wood likes actually getting burned. Surely we have one of these lying around somewhere. There it is. No, where did my damaged wood go? It's hiding around here somewhere. I will not abide. Oh, it, there's so much of it. Where is it? Why do we have a bunch of destroyed logistic bots that we haven't fixed? Oh, no. I'm coming for you, damaged wood. Where? I, I don't. Did it get, like, merged into regular wood or something? If so, I'm all for it. Nope, here it is. 26 damaged wood. Be gone. Fantastic. Mission accomplished. One less random extra stack of things. What is this? Oh, it's the old green circuit build. That I was apparently planning on dismantling, but I left it running? Let's wait until it's drained first. Pick up priority... is yes. Oh. Apparently this is where our... Mm -hmm. I should probably update that. Make the train that takes it up the space elevator take it from over here. Also, I didn't even update the cargo wagon size here. Also, also... Oh. What? Why did I... I'm so confused. This uses prod ones as well. What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell is this? Okay, uh, how about no to prod ones? Yeah, 
and we cut off the inputs, and we set the output as high priority, and we allow the circuits to flow, and this one's actually allowed to flow as well, fantastic, and also let more of that accumulate. All right, that, that should be fine. Is that the new build? This one? For circuits? No, no, this is the old build. Uh, up here is the newer build. Much cleaner and much faster. All right. Where were we before we got distracted? Uh, good question. We were trying to make, uh, advanced furnaces. Or rather, get them to where they need to go. This thing's still recharging, though. So, there's that. Apparently, there's also a few more bots that just came back. Maybe I should just make a button to reset the bots instead of emptying the entire train. Blasphemy. Alright, let's see how many inventory slots we've got left over at the moment. Old power poles? I don't think we want to do that anymore. Let's get rid of them. Advanced furnace. What does it stack to? 20? I don't think we're going to need 20 in a build very often. How much is this? Uh, 12? Sparky trains, indeed. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Veldak. Steam Deck is really nice. Haven't tried Factorio on it, though. Got it mainly for Factorio. Seems good. Uh, Enix Steam... Steam Main? Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh, and we're still crying about wide area beacons. Um, I should probably go pick up some more. Because I'm still too lazy to fully automate sending a handful of items between the space elevators. Uh, between the orbital mall and the ground mall. Because there's like two or three items um, that that would be needed for. How did you move building without destroying? Uh, the mod is called Picker Dollies. Okay. Welcome, Elk. These are advanced chemical plants. Uh, I think I already tried this, but can we squeeze in the regular chemical plants for this as well? Not really. Oh, kind of, maybe? Imagine Maholic is making a computer from combinators to solve secret victory. Nice, nice. How's Vita processing? Uh, loads of fun. Especially the part where to do nice builds you need advanced chemical plants. Uh, and to get chem advanced chemical plants you need bioscience one. Uh, but I used the editor extensions surface. To build this. Oh, it's actually full, and yet I see motion everywhere. It's just catching up to being saturated, I think. Um, but yeah, we did the, like, Coverex-ish. Well, it's very Coverex-ish. This is almost perfectly one-to-one. -one. In fact, it is one-to-one -one at, like, Prod 4 or Prod 5 or something. 
Um, so I'm just sort of direct inserting, sort of not. Uh, the Vitamelange Spice and Extract um, through here. Lots of science, indeed. Uh, speaking of science, I haven't done any research for a minute. What have I got? Before I have to bother to replace our Rocket Tech cards that we've got left over, we've got 6.5k times 1.48 uh, we can do like 9.6k science before I have to put a bit more work in uh, I could knock off shield generator mark 3 I don't use the shield generators though I don't know about this version but in 0.5 if you used energy shields as opposed to what is it called? The smart armor. Uh, adaptive armor. Uh, basically, you get punished for moving. You, you not only lose shield hit points, but it drains energy like crazy. Uh, so energy shields are not so good. Um, electric energy distribution 3. I don't know why we would bother with that. We've already got pylons. I could do some little uh, zone discovery. Oh, I haven't done robot follow. -up. That's kind of expensive and unnecessary. We'll continue that when we're just flexing. Uh, I haven't actually got material four yet. Lab research speed doesn't really matter, but I guess we could knock it off. And then the next one needs tier one everything. In other words, bioscience. I haven't actually increased bullet, well, non-laser weapon shooting speed as much as I could. May as well. Still quite cheap. Maybe for static spider gun platforms? Spider gun platforms? What? Never figured out how to power the energy shields? Oh, uh, well, antimatter engines don't consume all that much power wise. Once you're getting to the point where you're making, uh, what is it called? Uh, high temp turbine generators on spaceships, then the energy shield power consumption is pretty trivial. By comparison. What is wrong here? Oh, we don't have any extract here yet. Because we already ate all of our bloom because we're not making bloom that fast, because we have a little temporary build here. This is fine. I'll just leave that there instead of trying to squeeze them in here. Um... Oh, we do have a bit of Vitamelange cover X happening here, though. Fantastic. And it looks like... Well, I was gonna say most of these machines are saturated. But no. Now they will be. Uh, what's next? If we've got spice and extract... Well, that's basically it, isn't it? We can get back to our spaghetti bio 1 science that we're trying to... Oh, bio 2, I think it is, that we're trying to squeeze out just so that we can unlock the uh, advanced chemical plants and not have crappy chemical plant builds. Uh, we're going to be needing... Spice. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, 
I've already got the main builds over here for biocombustion, uh, biomechanical, and biochemical. They're all just waiting on biomass, spice, biomass, biomass. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be bio 1 pretty much. Or at least the crappy version. Uh, as soon as we get some spice up here. I should probably make another... I think I'll do the storage for the Vitamelange and stuff up here somewhere. Since this is where bioscience is going to be. I don't think the pipes connect for the temporary chem plants. Good point, thank you. Uh, where are they going to go? Just like this. Oh, I forgot I was going to do it this way. And then... Like this. And like this. And where are my pipes? Thank you. Fantastic. Good catch, thank you. Alan? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's time to build another... I'm pretty sure this blueprint hasn't changed. We need another... LTN... No, vanilla to LTN. Over here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There is one thing I want to update about it. Um, and that is... I want to run an upgrade planner over it, which updates the flat solar panels. Fantastic. Also, research is happening. All right. Take two. Vanilla to LTN in space. Like so. Let's grab our scaffolding train. Uh, which shouldn't have any more tier one flat solar panels, actually. But that's fine. It'll sort itself out. This can go over here. Wait for inactivity. Actually... If we're going to have it place the solar panels, we'd better we'd better wait till it gets there and place this again. Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. There's not too much scaffolding to place, so this shouldn't take too long. Oh, whoa, the UPS, though. I think it's partly because I'm holding... Yeah, no, it's totally because I'm holding onto that blueprint. I don't know why. Like, of all the things... Uh, I've never really seen Factorio slow down because of graphical reasons. It's a little slower right now because we're placing some signals sometimes. But... For some reason, holding a big blueprint out like this drops the UPS pretty aggressively. I think it's calculating something or other over and over again. Alright, let's grab our construction train and park over here. We actually weren't placing signals. That was a blatant lie. And almost there. Fantastic. I'm absolutely loving the construction trains. It's so much better than having an army of construction spider-trons. 
Especially considering we don't have to scaffold everything uh, so that they can walk. And we don't have to worry about them crossing over spaceships. And we don't as much have to worry about them filling up with crap. Because we can just drop them in front of an emptier station. Probably not well optimized as it is a rare case when it hurts. Yeah, and I mean, when it does, you'll be done with it in a second. Probably recalculating if it can place stuff and what needs to be reapplied every time something is placed beneath it. Yeah, something like that. I think it does slow it down even if nothing's being placed, though. Uh, well, let's let's do a little experiment here. UPS is just under 60 right now. We're going to grab that same blueprint and just look at it here. And we're down to 40. It dropped to 41 for a moment. So, I don't think it's because items are being placed, although maybe that could exacerbate it. Anyway, uh, we've now got our drop-off area over here. We're definitely going to want... Well, for one thing, I would have liked that to be connected. It's not too important right now. Um... But considering the path of the trains, let's say we park ourselves in one of these two depots. Uh, I think I want the shortest path for Vitamelange, Spice and Extract, probably. So like here. Probably. Spice. You know what? On the station downstairs, the extract is on the left. It's just the way it worked out. Now that kind of bugs me for some reason. Ex more expensive thing goes like second. Right to left. Alright, so this is spice. This is extract. This is spice pickup. And this is extract pickup. Maybe uh, we should double this here. Or stack size 200. Okay. Now we need a couple of space elevator trains. I think this is it. I need to physically fly over there because... I have to put in the uh, basically power armor like stuff in the space locomotives. They're going to have advanced additional electric engines. Going to use electricity to go a bit faster, which is actually also going to save us on fuel. And they're going to run off solar panels. Give me this. Give me exactly 14 of these. Unfortunately, I don't think, even with a mod, I don't know if there's a way to automate this part. There is a... I think it's called a gantry mod. Uh, to automatically load up, like, Spidertrons. And maybe... Uh, AAI vehicles, uh, it's definitely possible, I think. 
uh, to make like tanks and stuff if you've got the vehicle equipment grid and that mod but I don't think there's a way to like make pre-made locomotives like this and then place them on the rail super dupe fantastic works for trains as well how does that work that's awesome though there is a train factory mod can't remember the train at the uh, the name at the moment. Fantastic. I need a schedule for this guy. Um, something I can use as a template. Let's borrow this one. I thought that would be part of the blueprint, but no. Alright, so what are we looking for? Spice. And is that spice? Yeah, I think that's spice. Uh, one second would be better. Empty cargo. One second in activity. Full cargo. So up the elevator, go to depot. Go to drop off, down the elevator, go to depot, go to pick. Seems good. And then, it's actually trains coming here surprisingly often. Oh, it's the copper core fragments. Um, also, spell elevator cables. Huh. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to borrow the space right now anyway. Give me exactly 14 of those. Fantastic. Uh, and I'll put in the same schedule, but we'll change it to extract. Full cargo. Empty cargo, and that should be it. And give it some fuel to get started. Do we have enough to trigger a delivery by now? I doubt it. Mm, yeah, not even remotely close. Uh, are we ever going to take spice or extract anywhere else on the ground. That's all in space. I'm not... Oh, we're already doing this here. We don't need a train for that. Yeah, no, it's all in space. What about extract? Uh... Prod fours. We can't prod module modules, so we may as well build them in space with fast machines and abundant power. Uh, our prod three build is uh, our tier three module build is on the ground at the moment, but uh, it doesn't have to be. But yeah, we would have to either bring something down or bring things up, so I think it's probably fine if that's all in space. And this is already on the ground, and we're not gonna bother with... Oh wait, we probably have to do Vitalic Acid. I'm pretty sure we will have to do Vitalic Acid, and definitely Reagent, and... I'm pretty sure we'll only be able to put that on the ground. Alright, let's see. Acid. Needs advanced chemical plant. And can be prodded. Reagent. Uh, how do we make it? 
in Centrifuge. It's only two prod modules, but that's a lot more than zero. Can be prodded. Okay. So we're definitely taking uh, extract places on the ground. Hello, can you give us noobs a 20 to 30 second elevator pitch on how your factory world works? 20 or 30 seconds? Uh, Get stuff, turn it into other stuff, turn it into even more different stuff than that. Combine the other stuff with the other stuff, and then even more different stuff, and so on unto eternity. How is that? Machine Freak? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. With space exploration, you're in more than one world. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm pretty sure these schedules are right. We don't need to test them. What's the worst that could happen? What a tease to limit to such a short time, indeed. Uh, but yeah, the reason I was figuring out where those need to go um, is to see if I had to bother with a train limiter. Why do I have... Oh, I remember why I have raw rare metals here. Alright, um, I don't need to physically go downstairs to make this happen. Construction train is ready. Oh, speaking of things I need to physically do, because I'm too lazy to automate it. Why are we limited on energy catalog? Because I haven't requested it since I changed things? I probably just grabbed a bunch of energy catalog and brought it over here. Everything but energy catalog can be made on the ground. And the stack size... Maybe I should just take energy catalog 1 to the ground so I can make the... Uh, make the wide area beacons down there instead of arranging something to bring wide area beacons down. Anyway, before I forget, energy, what did I just type? Catalog 1. Just request the bare minimum, it doesn't have to be super fast. Fantastic. I think maybe a tour? That is a tall order. Uh, let me just figure out what I was doing a second ago. Oh yeah, I need to take wide area beacons downstairs. I might just end up doing a train to... T it's a whole vanilla train though, dedicated to that one purpose. To take... Uh, energy Catalog 1 down the space elevator. I think I'll just keep doing it semi-automatically. We don't need to do it very often. Uh, but yeah. Where was our train? Let me just do this before I forget. We need a couple of decider combinators. I guess we strictly don't need it for... Vitamelange Spice, but I'd rather it be a bit more symmetrical. Space elevator, that's new to me, indeed. Okay, so we're going to set train limit um, based on extract greater than 200, 100 uh, is 20,000. And just for the hell of it, the way I like to do this. Set train limit based on extract signal. 
Uh, so it's going to make it a higher priority to take it to space than do anything on the ground here. That's kind of implicit with the shape of how... If we're going to do a shared station between Vanilla and LTN, it's, I haven't found a way to prioritize LTN. But that's fine. And we're going to do the same... No, we're not. We're going to be doing basically the same thing here, but because the stack size is four times smaller, um, we're just going to look for 5,000 extract before we say train limit is greater than zero. Um, shouldn't we be able to see the trains by now? Uh-oh. I think I gave them the wrong schedule. Um, also... Well, it's never going to happen. I was going to say, if we ended up with... The fluid here was full, but the extract wasn't. Uh, it would actually... Oh, that's kind of... Oh, no, that's kind of bad. The train's not going to be able to take away light oil unless... Train limit is greater than zero. So extract has to be full before a train can take away the light oil. It's going to take so long for the light oil to fill up, I doubt that's going to be a problem, uh, but if it is, we could just do another station over here for the fluid. I really need to up my use of logic. This is just sick. You kind of have to um, for space exploration, I think. I'm quite used to using uh, Combinator logic and stuff, so I don't think about it that much, uh, but that's what everyone says. You can't really get through space exploration without um, circuit logic. That is quite slow. Are they all active though? Yeah, I think they are. They should be. This one's out of... Oh, I see. Hmm... Maybe I should limit these containers. So that the extract, I mean the spice, would still be over here. Because these two will keep going for a long, long time off of this spice. But if we're out of um, bloom... Kind of like running out of uh, uranium-238 for Coverex. Our bloom is just slow though, it's not actually run out. Basic logic can get you pretty far? Yeah, I would probably agree with that. Alright, let me just put a tag here. Extract... And space. Fantastic. Not used it that much before. It's something I need to do. Best way to learn is to play with it. Uh, so base tour. Well, where to begin? That's actually a pretty tough question. Um, but this is Hagen, our home base. We start on Nalvis, but we don't like Nalvis. Nalvis is smelly. Uh, for a few reasons we came to Hagen. Uh, one of those reasons is it's about as close as we're going to get to the interstellar map. Uh, so close to all of our outposts. Especially considering that we're except for the super close ones, uh, we're using an anomaly. So like, 
when we travel to Wexavis, we're actually having our ships uh, leave the interstellar map, go to a place called Foenestra, which we can't see here. It's 10,000 distance from anywhere, so they, they go to Foenestra, then they change the destination to Wexavis. Uh, and it's much, much shorter to go that way. The outposts that we've got here in Kalmea are just a little bit closer than if we did go via Foenestra. Um, but the other reason is we can get, uh, well, we've got a smaller planet, we've got a moon, so the space elevator cable cost, uh, maintenance cost is less. Um, and we also have an exotic resource, in this case cryonite, so we kind of get a leg up on ticking off all of those basic exotic resources in the relatively early game. Uh, I've based my build, uh, my base on rail blocks because they're very neat, very tidy, very modular. There's a lot, and I do mean a lot of complicated recipes in space exploration that will output stuff that you're not necessarily looking for. Some easy examples are junk, uh, like scrap, or junk data cards. Um, if we're using thermofluid, we input cold thermofluid, and out comes much warmer thermofluid um, that needs to be recycled back. So if we have a modular rail system where we can just put all of the outputs to different stations, that greatly simplifies a lot of our designs, also standardizes them more or less. Um, broadly, like this is the space elevator here, I've reserved uh, like 3x3 three three in all of these diagonal directions for, well, except for that, that was a little happy little accident, uh, but mostly I've reserved the space around the space elevator for all of these drop-off stations. I can't use LTN through the space elevator, but I do have like usually one dedicated train per resource to bring stuff up the space elevator. Why do you have exactly that many stacks of vulcanite? What? Um. Anyway, I've got, like, dedicated trains for each resource that we bring up or down the space elevator. And then they drop them off where Logistic Train Network can pick them up. I don't understand why... On Earth... What? It's just Vulcanite. Why does it have exactly four-fifths of the Vulcanite blocks? We're telling it to fill its cargo inventory. That is so weird. How did that happen? I guess you don't play with hostiles enabled. Yeah, you can eliminate them on a planet. Um, we've actually got biters enabled. Gold chat names around the spell elevator. How do you get that? Uh, get a, get a name in base and then get the upgrade. Uh, I think I added it today. Because it was chaos when I said, okay, if you get it twice, you can have gold. Um, so I made a specific reward. If you've already got a name in base, you can upgrade it to gold. Alternatively, if you want name in base in different places, you can have that too. Cut and true. Okie dokie. Where is your name? I don't think we've got your name next to the space elevator, do we? Or at least not in space? 
Uh, what about down here? This is much harder to look at. Uh, do we have you on this island? There we go. Do you want this one gold, or do we have another one somewhere? Name on Nalvis. Oh boy, that's... That's asking a lot. That's... Uh... I mean, I can. I'd have to go there. There's, there's your name on Nalvis. I'd have to physically go there. Yes, please. Oh my god. Oh boy, we've opened the floodgates again. Okay, what do we get? Actually, it's easier, instead of trying to read chat, I'll look at the rewards. So we got one name in base, that's Evil Pla. I'll knock that out first. Evil Pla? Or was Evil Pla going for... Wait, what? Oh, Evil Pla did upgrade to gold as well. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Oh boy, I can't keep up. We've got seven upgrades. Okay, one thing at a time. Evil Pla wants name in base plus gold. Uh, and I guess we'll put it up here somewhere. Okay, so that's those two done. Uh, next is me. That's fake. Captain True. Once gold name on Nalvis, I'll have to travel over there. Not Steel Mage. Says... Liljerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjerjer
upgrade planner plate to gold might work. Let's see. I would have to do a lot of replacements unless... No, I don't think it does work. Excuse me. Alright, uh, where were we? There's Captain True that I need to go to Nalvis for physically, and there's AMC 26 who might be located somewhere else. Uh, is this it? AMC? Fantastic. Uh, I'll also need to physically move the gold text plates for that. But it's a short trip. Frono at the space elevator in space, please. Thanks. No worries. Um, let's grab a bunch of yellow text plates. Sorry, gold. And AMC. I didn't mean to pick that up myself. Are you not going to take those? There we go. Is this on construction mode? No. Uh, what was I doing? Gold text plates. Nav set. AMC. Should I get... I, I think it's worth trying. Um, Let's get the dark floor over here. What do we got in here? Concrete and stone brick. Uh, let's take out the concrete and put in black reinforced plate. Fantastic. And I think if I just grab this that should probably be fine. Nice way to get rid of a bit of stone there. Why this... Oh no. Oh no, why are you no pathing? All 18 stops inaccessible? Wait, what? I can't click on the space elevator. Oh no. Help. Help, help, help. Uh, hopefully that's enough. Or that's probably not enough. I'm pretty sure I measured it. Oh, it is enough. 30 seconds of inactivity. Fantastic. Alright. Let's park you here. Wait for some inactivity. And I'll soon be able to click on the space elevator again in a way that helps. Hey, the trains are working again. I think we actually need more depots for the vanilla trains now. So I think I'll build another one over here. Uh, maybe I should check if the blueprint needs updating, because I have a bad feeling about that. Vanilla Depot LCCL. Uh, I'm definitely seeing some stuff that's looking a little bit different. Alright, in that case... Ooh. Oh, that definitely looks better already. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Especially with the gold. Cliffs look a bit strange. Um, I don't know that I mind the rocks that much, but let's get rid of them. And apparently there's like this little bit of stone that we haven't reached over here.
There we go. Oh, there's still more. It's probably going to be like two bots coming to fix that in a moment. Yep. Anyway, what did I just get distracted from? Oh yeah, we need a new... Um, we need a new depot thing over here. Uh, did I update this? I did not. Easy enough. And then we place this here. And then we park scaffolding train over here. Wait indefinitely because I'm going to need to give it more orders. And where's my personal spaceship? There it is. Alright, um, where do we have sulfur on Nalvis? I'm sure we have plenty. I've actually been looking forward to taking a laser to Nalvis, honestly. It's gonna be easier than, like, cleaning up all this stuff that we have here. But, no, I shouldn't go that far. Uh, but yeah, surely we've got sulfur... Plenty of sulfur. Probably, it's not that far away. I could make a little robot network here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could maybe do it remotely, but it's probably going to be easier if we just fly over. Now that we've got a spaceship to do that. Go train, go. Alvis, here we come. Plenty of liquid rocket fuel. Oh, I left the go home button switched on. That was a waste of like three or four thousand liquid rocket fuel. Oh well. Alvis. And away we go. Alright, uh, I believe there was a space elevator name that we need. Chrono? And it's not gold yet. Whoops, not Kronos. I was trying to press like S like this. God damn it, why is it like this? Let me just put it here. That's probably where I'll end up putting it, actually. Yeah, no, that's probably fine for now. And let me check my list once more. Uh, Kronos... El uh, Chrono is done. And for gold, we've got Captain True. Did I do Captain True already? Oh no, it was AMC that I did. Yeah, Captain True was the one who wanted Nalvis. Cool, cool, cool. AMC is... down here. Fantastic. We got there eventually. Overall, I like the look of this better, but depending on the zoom level, it kind of looks a bit weird. Especially... Especially the imperfections. Those brown things from the cliff explosives will go away eventually, though. It looks a lot better, but I, I definitely prefer the look in space. What's our ETA? Three minutes? Oh no. Baby ship is taking its sweet time. Alright, while that's happening... Um, 
while that is happening. We're taking us... Oh, this is actually backed up all the way up here. It's because I messed this up. Good job. I can't pick a dolly's belts. That I cannot do. Um... I guess just bring the construction ship over. I think I will commit these though. That should work out better overall. Or instead of instead of limiting them. And I could do this remotely as well. Uh, no, I couldn't. If we add a bit of belt here, we could control it and say, don't take Vitamelange uh, spice out. Unless there's like 50 spice in the chest. So that, that way there's always some... Um, uh, to get cycled through this stuff. Yeah, either or. It's not that big of a deal. Unless... I could sushi the whole thing. Make the spice go around in circles. Could just have a splitter down here. Yeah, uh, I actually think I like that. Especially considering how well it's going to fit uh, when we do this properly. So, no limits needed. We go ham. Doesn't really matter where this is, but that... Oh, I see, that was a misclick ages ago. Oh, it does matter where this is. Wait, what? Oh... Uh, I see what I did there. Now it looks nice and neat. Well, as neat as it's going to look with the temporary chemical plants in. And now we've actually got more of them making the extract, or all of them, I should say. Which means that eventually the spice will flow faster. Oh. Let's double the rate of that flowing through. I think it's still gonna only have the merest amount. Like, it's gonna maintain the amount in each container, isn't it? No, I don't think that's what's happening. Anyway, looks like we're here. Let's drop down to Nalvis. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to grab a bunch of sulfur in my hands. Because that's definitely where you want sulfur to be. And make a bunch of small gold text plates. Uh, let's put down an assembly machine. I'm sure that'll get delivered. This may as well be a provider. Oh, I'm still handcrafting. And a long arm. And why do we still have no power? Because there's no bot coming with power pull. 
surprisingly enough. Oh, it's outside of the robot network. All right. I guess we'll need a couple of these. There we go. I don't think we really need more than a hundred text plates at any given time, though. Oops. Now then. Uh, first of all, we could finish making Andy's name. Um, surprised that never got done. And then, finally, that one true. This is going to be gold. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Here come the bots. So we should be able to do this remotely in future. Uh, maybe I should have brought some of that dark uh, flooring over. What kind of... We've got stone brick. We've got concrete. We could try concrete, I guess. See how it looks. Oh, they're right here as well. Uh, it's obviously going to make the regular names pretty hard to read. Hmm. Oh, I had concrete on me, that's why. Uh, I don't really want to make that fancy concrete here. Steel beam and refined concrete. We don't have refined concrete. Top left? Uh, it Camillo? Okie dokie. De Camillo goes here, and bots should already be on the way. Or is it just... No, we've got plenty of room with the Robopot. There we go. Fantastic. Let's put some concrete behind that one as well. Oh, let's try this stone brick and see what... Ooh! I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Stone brick or concrete? That looks kind of neat. Stone is great. Fantastic. Let's move NG down here where we can see. Does Upgrade Planner work on the nameplates? Unfortunately, it does not. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. Uh, let me just check that I marked everything off. Dick Milo, Captain True. And we're good. Perfect. Let's leave this forsaken place. Back to Narvis Orbit. Uh, well, no. I won't be so easily tricked. Back to Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. Turn on the go home button. I didn't even need to decide um, what to do there. Although, I should turn this off if I'm going to jump into the editor. Uh... 
extract is coming along a lot more quickly now. Let's uh, check the graph. Vitamelange extract is definitely, definitely trending upwards after where we had it hovering before. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you can see it on the belt quite clearly. All right, then. What should we do with the last 10 minutes or so for today? I think I will switch this off. I'm going to save real quick just in case. But I want to jump into the editor. Did I already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we haven't tested it or anything, but in theory, we've already got the uh, Vitam Lounge Spice and Extract trains going. I really need to set up this extra depot, though. Let's grab this. No trains or train fuel, please. Just entities, tiles, and stop names. And we'll bring the construction train into it once we're able. Why are these not placed yet? Didn't I make it so that the default... Yeah, I upgraded this and then I did that first. Is it not in range? It's definitely in range. Did we not... We did bring that many flat solar panels. I think it's just the bots being slow to do things when there's a lot of orders queued up. Especially floor. Okay, let's bring... Construction train into the mix. And I don't think I have to do anything else. The moment this gets built, uh, the vanilla trains that are waiting for a space will come here. It really is antiquated having at least one train per resource. But I wanted the challenge of making... Uh, playing around the space elevator with LTN without using that mod that does it for you. Also, it would be very easy to make a mistake with LTN and then just waste a ton of space elevator cables on unnecessary trips. Or I guess you could end up with a ton of... Uh, a ton of trains in depots above or below. There we go. They're not going to have trouble with fuel for a while. So it should be fine. Anyway, here comes the batteries. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that sushi magic. It's going to have to snake all the way up here before we start charging them at a respectable rate. But this is fine. As long as our, as long as our, none of our trains actually run out of fuel, that is. Fantastic. There it is. There's our first, probably our first charged batteries on the belt. 
econ the spaghetti research? Uh, you mean all of this? Um, that is kind of monumental, especially because I'm going to be doing spaghetti bioscience just to get like. Let's see. 500 Bioscience 2 and whatever prereqs. 100 Bioscience 1, 60, no, 10 Bioscience 1, uh, 10 Bioscience 1. So it's like literally like 120 Bioscience 1 and then I think it was 500 Bioscience 2 gets us Advanced Chemical Plant. I really wish they didn't put Advanced Chemical Plant behind that much bioscience, because every other bioscience build, Advanced Chemical Plants would be nice. But we'll get there. Um, but yeah, I think... Oh, we're missing some stuff still. Construction train, please make another lap. Uh, actually, just wait for inactivity. I don't think we need to get it to empty. It's not like it picked up anything, right? Did we have any builds downstairs that we didn't finish? We need the advanced chemical plants. We need the advanced chemical plants. I should hurry up with that because our Holmanite throughput is depending on it. Okay. Here we go. And let's just make sure our new depot uh, has everything it needs. Looks good. Let's check it with the Decon Ghost Planner. Fantastic. And it's already got a respectable amount of charged battery packs. Very nice. I'm kind of surprised just how much traffic we've got. I wish I could somehow prioritize it so that... Uh, the trains that don't have to move as much park themselves back this way. I guess what we would need is, like, the exact opposite of the usual vanilla priority, whereby they go to the nearest station with that name that has a train limit that'll support them. If I could get them to do literally the opposite of that when they come out of the space elevator to go to the depot, uh, ultimately things would be a lot smoother. PSZ Tux, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It'll sort itself out a bit more when we've actually got everything moving. Um, but still, could be improved somehow. Maybe. Um, maybe instead of. I would have to do a huge redesign for this. Like, this would be another playthrough. But maybe instead of depots that they run to, that they can definitely get to after the space elevator, maybe we could limit it to one train per resource and have them park here. You could do that manually with different depot name, but that's quite the task. Yeah. And it's only saving, like, a few seconds. Um, not that often. 
Alright, what's next on the design agenda? Uh, so we've got Vitamelange Extract and Spice. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we just have to, like, save some up and bring it over here. And I need to make a bunch of biomass. Oh, sorry, specimens. It's called biomass here. Vittelmange, spice, biomass, biomass, biomass. That's all that these are missing. For the first three data cards for bio one. Uh, and then I've got a little spaghetti thing here for genetic data. Um... I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, there's actually like a lot of designing to do to come up with something I like for bio because there's so much stuff that isn't suited to trains with like stack size 5 at high throughput that I was thinking of doing a really like a 2x2 two two train block and doing a bunch of stuff in one place. Maybe I'll have a look at it before the stream tomorrow, because I have to have a long think about some of these. Well, I think I've figured most of this out, but making it fit together is a whole different story. 2x2 two two should be fine. Yeah, we sort of get a little bit exponentially more space. Um, well, we literally get exponentially more space because of because it's literally squared. But it's not just that, it's that we've got a bit more room that's not dedicated to, like, braille input and output. Did you share your blueprints? Uh, somewhat often I have, yes. It's all on the Discord. I've really huge, dense precursors for bio cards. Dense precursors. You mean like lots of stuff in one place? The nice thing about space, where you can't use any prod modules except for in the labs, uh, is your ratios are never going to change. So uh, you're not going to like get punished for building multiple steps in one place and then you get better prod modules and the ratio goes to kaput. Dense builds for precursors. For precursors. Do you mean like prerequisites? Or is there something literally called precursor? No? It spans 2 by 3? 2 by 3. There's a mod for that as always. It's a train, indeed. All right, anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Let's see who is streaming Factorio. Someone doing the same thing or someone reliable? Uh, why not both? We could raid rain today. Mine spends 2 by 3 cells. Each cell is defined by Pylon substations. Oh, fair enough. Alright. We'll drop in on rain this time. And probably find someone else tomorrow, even if that looks like the best choice, because I like to spread it out a bit. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks Veldak, take care. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Until next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll continue with SEK2, same with the day after. And then after that, uh... I'm either finding something new to do in Terraria, maybe the uh, the ultimate seed, I forget what it's called. Um, what's that sword called? 
I'm always blanking on the name of the ultimate sword in Terraria, but I believe the seed is called the same thing, Zenith. Uh, I might start a Zenith run, and that's terrifying. Uh, but in any case, Factorio for the next couple of days. Take care, guys. Still, it's six then. Hey, T Hacks, how you doing? Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Good to see you every Saturday morning. Last couple months. Oh, I need to give you a shout out. We're doing some wires. We're very close to the end of this, though.